Well, hi, cat. cat. Cats have come for the style of the campaign. Mm-hmm. It's only natural. about this uh, mug is that it's not it's not as difficult to drink out of it's that the edges are pretty thick so it, 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 mm. can, it can spill out pretty easy when you're drinking which explains a lot of the messes that you get on tavern tables honestly mm-hmm. <laughs> Is everyone ready then? Believe so. Mm. Alrighty. So, last we left off, the party had finished the battle above being raining hellfire, arrows, uh, crushing buildings into people, and destroying what remains of the base as a distraction and to hold them off for as long as possible. The enemy forces suffered greater losses than your own, but some are injured. Others barely standing. You managed to get down here regardless. Everyone was able to manage the retreat while your enemies followed, but there has been no moves from what you hear to break into the building just behind you. Now you are all in the underground. You're in this entrance hall and there has been no moves immediately against you. So you have time to ponder what you shall do next, although you do not have long. We have a healer with us, right? Dragonborn? Uh, there is a Dracon he is just up to the north he is not in the immediate landing area oh, yeah it's oh I see him yeah, they, um, I use the same art because that's the only good art I can find no worries uh, I assume we all said the password as we went across the trap as well yes everyone with, the, with your insistent drilling managed to remember the password yeah I'd hate I'd hate to set it off a early and b on us. So, um, okay. So thank you again, Athos. Um, I mean, the idea is to pull them farther in. Let's go back, I suppose. And uh, we can have the uh, Drakon. Heal some of us. Back as in, like, farther in? Yes. Yeah, not back up the stairs. I I don't want to go back up there. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. Farther in, where we have more traps and where we can also uh, um, start to get them lost in the variety of tunnels and whatnot. Thank you. Alrighty. So, uh, feel free to move yourselves on the map to where you would like to go before this all begins. Um, For reference, Uh, we will give everyone approximately five rounds worth of actions to take. Okay. Athos, did you have anything in mind that you wanted to do, or just sort of prep? Um. Oh yes, I was uh, <coughs> going to uh, 
to use a ch channel positive energy to heal people. All oh. right. Alaphos, do not forget you have fly on you currently. Oh, still? Yes. That's a minutes per level spell. And well, actually, we should probably get to um, deeper within, and then I will start to do the AoE heal. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure that I'm pointing out to remind everybody again where all the different um, uh, traps are, etc. <laughs> yep. Like, I, they should know. They should know. They also did not perform the plan very well upstairs, so. They lit things on fire when commanded, and they shot at people. True, <laughs> True kind of. I think Athos and uh, Chua are the MVPs. <laughs> Chua brought it home, man. That dude was critting right and left. Actually, yeah, Chua did some good work. And then obviously Athos collapsing the entire building on them. Just pure brilliance. Love to see it. Well, NVIDIA pretty much one shot that up. Oh, that was <laughs> <your skull. laughs> yeah. oh, the invisible guy? I forgot about the invisible guy. <laughs> and oh, the, that uh, poor bastard. But that thing that uh, guy was writing on as well. Oh, oh yeah, yes. that, was, that was more lucky than anything. Got to save up a little bit of some of those banes, though, in case we see another one. Mm -hmm. Well, you do know that one didn't die, so. Oh yeah, he was getting healed by the his buddy. Unless he's got some potions on him, it's still going to be relatively limited. But I can see him coming back at full health just to spite me. Entirely possible. Mm -hmm. I assume he will. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I should still have. Um, divine favor going, and I'm ready to cast it again if necessary. Yeah, I have. Um, that one may need to be cast again because that one is just one minute rather than. That is five. just one minute. You are right. So that's yeah. 10 rounds plus the five rounds that we're going to be in here. At the end of the five minute time frame of prep, I'll just cast it again. Yeah, that, that's all good. Or not five minute, but five rounds. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. It's, it's 30 seconds. So, it basically, rounds per level spells will have ended, but minutes per level will have remained. Uh, right. Divine Favor just wears off because it's specifically one minute, because awkward timing. Yeah, no, for sure. I to it, it is a weird one. Yeah, it, it, um, it, it's so you can cast at level one and you don't have to just cry your eyes out when it only lasts for one round. <laughs> it's already yeah, amazing. Have... Sorry? It's already amazing for a level one spell, so I guess they have mm. to do that. Oh yeah, gosh, it's great, and it gets better. Ugh. Scaling, um, yeah, I like bless. Yeah, <laughs> well, but bless AOE. Honestly, I still want bless whenever you can, so I appreciate it. Uh, if relevant, bless would also still be up. I think bless got cast. I don't. Bre bless did get cast, but I forget how long it lasts for. Minutes per level, so it will still be going. Mm. Excellent. Alrighty. Alright. Okay. Let's see. So I'm doing that. Keeping Wrath off for now. Because that's just another morale bonus, and at least some of these guys should be damaged. Um, jet my judgment's still up because we're still technically in combat, right? Um, this, uh, as there has been a lull, this combat has ended, so you okay. will need to re-up a judgment if you would like to do so. Right. Uh, it's a swift action, so again, we technically would have to wait anyway to hold off on that one until we get back into combat. Yes. A couple of those per day, so, or a few of them. Okay, and then I think everything else is just a matter of waiting. All right. Everybody doing okay? All right. Well, off the group. Um, can everyone see HP bars? Some of them, no. 
I can't see it for this boy right here. Oh, okay. Ah, right, there we go. He was backwards. That makes sense. Oh, I can move Ujin. Cool. And hung out. I believe I gave... Well, not everyone. Oh, and Chua. I can move a couple of them. Yeah, I, I thought it was supposed to be everybody, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, not everybody, but I can move some of them. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it, it was just so you guys could... Uh... Depending on the situation, uh, people would have been able to control individuals just, just for their own sake. Got it. But that's fine. All right. So, uh, anything you want to do in that room, you're welcome to do. Otherwise, you can just move up. It will take of the turns available. For most of the group, it will take two turns to get up there. To uh, here? Uh, up to, yes, where Dejung is. Oh, okay. yeah. 50 feet, for sure. Because medium armor is annoying. <laughs> For sure. Um, well, let's not go too crazy. <clears throat> and yeah, we should get up there though, just so we can get some healing done, and then start scattering into the caves. That is an option. You guys are free to decide how you want to go ahead with all of this. You have your plans, and you have a bunch of your traps set up. But the decision is to yours as to how you'll follow through on it all. Well, Athos, since you'll be flying, and myself, we could be bait once we get healed up. And just That's true. And we don't have to be all the way back there, but just far enough away where they can't really hit us. You know, archers would have to fire around some corners and stuff, but just sort of be barely seen and maybe lead him into a couple of traps. Mm-hmm. And that is an important and then, question, though. Sorry, I will interrupt very briefly. Uh, now, you have your coin traps set up, Athos. Are they just coins sitting on the ground? They'll be like pots of, um, like, ten gold in each. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to gap, uh, make sure what, what, what people will actually see when they're walking past. It'll be like a small um, bowl of whatever we could find uh, with some gold coins in it. Alrighty. Alright, so please, continue on the video. Oh, um, and then we can get back into this area. Um, the Kitsune and Philanid only have low light vision, correct? Uh, yes, that is what you do know about them as a species. And then the Drakons have dark vision? Yes. Okay. So, as we go, let's start extinguishing the lights behind us. Um, which could leave... Athos, do you have dark vision? No. Hmm. Um... I know that could tell you have something that gave you dark vision. Uh, yes, I have an extract. Is there any way you can share that with Athos? Uh, I only have one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Athos, I don't also don't want to hamstring you, and I cannot give you. Dark vision, I don't think. That's why I can wait in some place with light, or I can just be in the darkness. Okay. Yeah, I, I assume you have the light cantrip. I don't have it prepared. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, really, cantrips like don't go up in uh, number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that is the um, way of cleric. Well, we do have, like, lanterns in here, right? Like, if I remember yes. correctly? So, at the very least, our group can... 
yeah, start to get out, and we, we can carry one if necessary. I'd like to try to use the dark as much as possible. Um, I already know the answer to this because it's always my worst fear, but Commodons have dark vision, don't they? Uh, that is a knowledge nature check. Ooh, monster lore? Uh, yes, monster lore applies. Okay. Oh, wait, is it not? No, sorry, it's a car. Uh, uh, my apologies. Okay, uh, I'd like to reroll anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Yeah, that's better. And plus four, so that's 26. Oh, righty. Uh, Calmadons, you know, have dark vision, low light vision, and scent. Oh, great. Well, okay, that's going to be a problem. Yes, they have more than just the simple senses of most animals. Okay. Well, the Commodon will be by and large unaffected, as will Pike. So, take that how you will. The Luckily, the Felonids and the Kitsune should be... If it is dark, they'll suffer, but the rest of them will be fine, unfortunately. And there is also your own Felonids to consider. Right, which is what we would want to be putting the lights out as we go. Mm. Anyway, first two turns, let's run up there. All right. You guys get everyone to advance as needed. <clears throat> Does Giggles have dark vision? Giggles only has low light vision and sense. Ooh, no, that's not good at all. I'm almost de like debating just forgetting the whole darkness thing. This, you do know that this place was pretty well lit up, uh, and you can kind of assume why. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. As you approach, Dejun, uh, greets you. Oh! It's all taken off then. I, I, I heard noise from above. Uh, it's going kind of to plan. We have had one casualty so far, and a good amount of injuries. If you want to give us a hand with that, Dejung, before retreating back into the caves. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, please, everyone, stand still. Tell, get up there. By the grace of the rivers, oh, may the flow of healing guide you and mend your wounds. And he begins to chant and channel. And everyone heals. Uh, six HP. Would you like oh. him to keep going? <laughs> um, we could run and heal, yeah? He can. He is an old dracon. He is relatively slow. Oh, oh no. But he... not. <laughs> he, 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 he is a cleric, <laughs> right? He has functional healing abilities. Okay. They can go ahead. And kill. Jung, the yeah, more yeah, he does, the more channels I have for pain. There you go. Alrighty. Now, I can also grant you a burst of strength if need be, but you must decide. Can you give me a burst, burst of speed or dexterity. Tragically, not. I no. only prepare for the typical warrior and their needs. Well, Athos, you you could probably work doing a with a burst of strength, yeah? Uh, Athos, do you already have full could. strength? I don't have uh, it on me, but I do have it prepared so I can give it to another person. Yeah, there you go. Up to you, then. I'll ask him to give it to Giggles. Oh yes. no! Buff. Wait, wait, is he <laughs> next? No, he's strength. Okay, good. Uh, no, I'm just terrified. Yes, buff giggles. Oh. We don't have Balder, but we have Balder version two. That's not as good as Balder. Uh, we we have bigger Balder with more strength and less dex. All right. See, this is why I like Father more. He's more dex based. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's got that familiarity bonus. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh no. He. 
begins chanting and imbues giggles with additional power. Yes. <laughs> During this time, I'll use up full strength on myself as well. All right. And you guys have one more round. Now he can channel again, but he also has the option to uh, either prevent enemies from striking you when you have not done dealt them harm, the power to resist the elements, or a protective spell that should ward off attacks. Athos, you you do need more health, I feel. Um, do any of the spells... So... Okay. I doubt those spells are inside bonuses. Um, I'm doing okay on health. Athos, it's more up to you since I feel like you need health the most. Another channel would be good. I mean, could channel as well if people needed it, um, or if he doesn't have enough. As a healthy young cleric, you can run and channel, right? Oh, he can run and channel. His speed is just 15 feet per I mean, round. could, but I'm going to cast uh, Iron Skin on myself. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And I think I'm slower than him because he had the armor. Uh, you have a fly speed of 40 feet at the moment. Oh, right. Yeah! <laughs> Don't forget that. That's great. Yeah! <laughs> he, has, he has heavy armor and uh, doesn't have a great strength score. It's, it's, a, it's, not, it's a good strength score. It's not a great strength score. Alright, well, you better be a great sort of protector than uh, Daddy Young. Cool, thank you. Alright, everyone heals an additional four. Alright. Athos, how you feeling? Pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to let everybody else kind of sidle their way through. Um, who's his... Uh, Giggles is like a friend of somebody's. Is it? Oh, he's this with guy? Ujin. Ujin, I'm gonna just Ujin's right next to me. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab Ujin and be like, could Giggles and yourself sort of help me and Athos sort of create some choke points and flanking um, possibilities? Um, yes, but uh, you've got to be. Gotta be careful. Giggles is he's, he's struggling to squeeze through. Uh, it's, it's not too bad, but uh, here it's uh, we can't do it in narrow spaces. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Finally, sorry, I was waiting on an email all day long. And they finally <laughs> got it to me today, or just now. Nice. Um. Okay, cover that. Um totally understand. Maybe you guys get to the other side of some tight spaces where you can threaten some people. Um, and then everybody else can sort of, you know, get bows out and ready to fire. Tra, I'm looking at you, MVP. Alrighty. So, what is the plan then? They will follow your lead. Um, well, I'm telling them to giddy up a little bit so those who are ranged can get behind. Alrighty. <clears throat> Everybody gets moving. Now. Just be ready with your bows facing forward. Yeah, then they will Find do the so spots. as much as they can. Right. Remember our exit strategy going around and then to the south. Go 
stay close there. enough for contact, but don't go too far away to where, you know, you end up uh, being by yourself. Alrighty. Picos will move just in, into there, where he can be. Can Giggles, Giggles can like start by squeezing through that here, yeah? Yeah, he can squeeze through any of these uh, five foot squares. It's just he can't fight in them without being severely hampered. Right. I, I was I was hoping like we still had a couple turns left. He can squeeze through that and be ready to go. Where there's oh, yeah, more room. He can move through there if you prefer. Oh yeah, for sure. Because I'm thinking we start to skedaddle. Like not like maybe me and Athos are here, but. Most of the other groups have started to make their way back there. That is entirely up to you. Does that sound good, squad? Mm-hmm. Because could tell you can operate the traps from pretty far away, yeah? Uh, operate? Uh, they need to be basically activated immediately adjacent. Oh, gotcha. Didn't we create a system of pulleys and lovers for them? Uh, yes, but you still, they still need to be relatively close by, like. Like, for these ones up here, we just... Oh, the one at the very bottom, that one will be activated with the uh, glyph trap, because it will basically burn away at the rope. Uh, okay. But the other ones, uh, also the ones down the bottom there, those ones can be done with the alchemist fire that should be able to go off relatively easily mm -hmm. some of these ones will also are just caved in the red squares yes the red squares are the basically explosive spots um those ones were activated I mean, sorry no, yeah sorry the red ones there were already done you guys did them in yeah advance. they're just caved in so that they can't get through there yes that's correct all right um, the other ones did need to be the pulley systems was just so they could be done quickly they can be done as a standard action to be activated All right, how far away do we have to be from them uh, the you could either attempt to take a shot at them to activate them from a distance but that is mm -hmm. a relatively difficult attack roll as a check or it can be directly adjacent to them um, and take a stand action to ensure they activate. Uh, actually, in video, you could do it as a, from 10 feet away because you have a reach weapon. Okay, copy that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can tell you probably do want to back up a, a little bit, though. Uh, okay. All right. You know, I just realized Cattell has the most HP in the party. <laughs> Some of us <laughs> want more the skill points. You. you tell us the tank, we need you in front. Yeah. <laughs> well, she did alone hold the line. She did. She did. Reaching the wall. To tell that it was a tank for that entire, like, three or four turn. <laughs> you mean that one turn? <laughs> <laughs> she was forced into a bad was... position. No, it was just one turn. It just took so fucking long. Pretty sure it was ten turns, but that's just me. Yeah, could be remembering wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the least damage of us too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She has the most current and max HP, guys. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, we have some people with some bows who are able to lean out from behind a corner and fire, and everybody else uh, starting to um, uh, make their way back. Giggles is back there, so he doesn't have to worry about squeezing in. Cool. I think we're good. Um, before the shit hits the fan, I wanted to do alchemical allocation and then potion of heroism. All right, so you have uh, an addition. You have two turns of movement plus that. So you'll have one turn of extra and one extra turn remaining if you would like to use it for an extract. So you can do alchemical allocation and the heroism plus one extra turn if need be. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, God. Sorry, cat. You're good. 
Oh, and then Divine Favor, of course. Yep. Are we going to do anything else, Kita? Um... So are we going to need dark vision or nah? I'm thinking maybe we don't do that. It was a thought, but I, I think it's going to hurt us almost as, if not more than them. Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing I really need to do. Cool. All right. Athos, any last minute spells? If I could last two shots, I'd probably want to save that. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. But, um, I'll do a last channel heal. Um, uh, positive energy if that's alright. That's fine. Okay. You could use the help, man. And not nice. a bad roll. Technically, get yeah, completely out of control. I just rolled really badly earlier. <laughs> no, four would be. No, uh, an average roll of two d six is seven. Yeah. Yeah, six and a half, seven. Okay. Well. Alrighty. <clears throat> let's get ready, everybody. Everyone prepares themselves for what is to come. Maybe heal, uh, heal Drekon should get a head start since he's so slow. He that he spent his turns healing and that's why he is in that position. He can oh, okay. take the movement though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There you go. <laughs> he can get to bed. Hey, you know what? It's something. Anyway. And so it begins. You hear the distant clamoring of soldiers as you know your enemies to come. Taking the first steps down the stairs and following shortly behind is Pyek and other Dracons. Eh, I was kind of hoping the White Rider, but that's okay. He walks forward with his allies and strides through the trap set before him. His allies follow him shortly behind. And we continue going. Da, 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 da. Do you have to activate the trap, Athos? I forget. No! Oh, okay. Just making sure. As Pyke... Oh, there's a white rider. Uh, yes. As Pyke walks through, the trap seemingly flares to life, and a gout of flaming skulls appear and surge forward, striking everyone as they pass through the area. Uh, now, it was 15 foot wide, 10 foot long. Um, let me just double check. Yes. Oh no, 15 foot long, 10... 15 foot long, 10 foot high, 15 feet in a straight line. Okay. That's just a 15 foot square then, but only 10 feet high. Yeah. Yeah. So that just means it's that instead, and we will trigger it one step back. Alright, cool. If I just sprinted through it, that would be kind of funny too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, right. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Pike does move uh, uneerily Ooh. through the flames. Oh, that's a good roll. Love and to see it. You can see uh, reflex and will. Oh, 
man. I love it. Uh, yes, 16 foot. Alright, I know it's an evil spell, but I do like it a lot. It's such a good spell. It's one of the few cleric <laughs> blasting spells, damn it. Is it yeah. cleric only? It's uh, not cleric only, but. Uh, cleric and anti paladins. <laughs> ah, there you go! Pretty goddamn evil, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Carl, would you like to do me a favor and roll for the Dracons? I believe you still have their sheet. Alright, almost take color into, co into Combat Manager. I'm good at this. Oh, well, back. Okay. Yeah! Oh, wait, 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 never mind. Be... I, I do have two monitors, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> well, mine just wasn't letting me pull it over, it just like kept oh, bumping against okay. it. like, no, it has to stay on this side. Which saves? Reflex and will? A reflex uh, first, and then will. Okay. How many do I have? Uh, two. I'm bad. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's three fails. What was the save, Athos? Uh, 16. Ah, oh, thank Ooh. you. There you go. Oh no, we had three fails there. Oh boy. <laughs> Alrighty, so Pyek. Uh you can see the flames wash over Pyek and the red dracon alike, and while they do not seem wholly harmed by the unholy weapon that's been used against them, they still suffer the damage. Alrighty, that one is down. Right out of the gate. Love to see it. This man failed. But is still standing, and you surpassed. Alright, and he has his will save, which is. That. Range of Wisdom coming to handy. Alrighty, there's no effect on a past will save, is there? Uh, no. All good. Oh, and... alrighty. Uh, roll that wiz... is it wisdom... is it d3 wisdom damage? Yeah, I already rolled it, it's uh, just one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all good. Uh, we will put that on here to keep in mind. Cool. Okay. And yes, he did pass. Cool. Alrighty. And then, uh, the raid actions go off Ujin and Shinsuk go ahead and take their shots. And you, sir, have uh, a passable dex. Ujin has that. Alrighty. Ujin fires off a crossbow bolt and Shinsuk fires a bow at uh, Payek as he enters in. And as the flames wash over him, his armor still stands stern against the crossbow bolt and arrow alike. Their yeah. force unable to penetrate it. The others are further back and will not be able to take ready to actions until appropriate. I'll look back at Ujin and um, Shim and just be like, you still hit him though. Good job. <laughs> they look moderately concerned about this. Alrighty. And with that, the initial onslaught declared. Can I get roll for initiative, please? Oh, my bad. There we go. Oh, God. Continue the trend of not having good rolls, man. It's illegal. You're not allowed to do anything uh, <laughs> when it comes to rolling. You just need to have high enough bonus that it doesn't matter. I've just I've had a couple like really good rolls, but mostly bad rolls. If I could just even it out. Yeah. 
damage rolls. I mean, more than okay. Uh, that would be the life, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Can I take 10 on an attack? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you have, like, this one super specific ability. And you don't want, you don't want to invest in that. It's not worth it, trust me. Hmm? Yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, combat mobility or whatever that feat is. Combat patrol. Ah, uh, yes. The beautiful combat patrol. 15 feet of death. Because, I looked it up, you can use that with Bane. Yes. Bane is per round, not per attack. And with combat reflexes, NVIDIA has like a like six or seven um, attacks of opportunity or something like that. Yeah, you have a high dex. You, you just dex at people and they kind of cry. <laughs> Oof. Alrighty. Oh, this is kind of a rough roll for everybody. Like, Pike did pretty good, but everyone else. Where's the white... Oh, white rider, buddy. He rolled a mat one. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, but you gotta get to me first. <laughs> you gotta get there, yeah. Alrighty. That is well, By the way, is the white rider... He was a felon, right? He is a felon, yes. Okay. Just make sure. Alrighty, the doors are opened. And he can move up to there. Pike advances. His heavy armor is slowing him down, but he's un not bothered by the arrows nor the flames that engulfed him. Mm -hmm. However, as he walks past, smoke begins to fill the air. Flayleaf beginning to coat the area. And smoke begins to block the path behind. Where the archer goes ahead. And has to make a decision. The ground before him begins to crumble as the flames work away at the supports left behind before the trap will fall. Soon, this area will be cut off and no more will be able to enter. The archer goes ahead and takes initiative to move forward. Color, would you like to roll me a d20? Nice. Alrighty. Is able to make it through before anything happens. The ground falling from above. Alrighty, he moves up and we'll go ahead and take a shot. Alrighty, Athos does a 16 hit you. Uh, nope. Oh, now nice. my AC has been buffed to 23. Oh, boy. Oh, you're better than me. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> May have to do something about that. I gotta give, give, bump up that AC a bit. Alright. NVIDIA, it is your turn. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, Let's see. Pike is coming my way. Uh, 40 feet was his double move, I assume, right? Like, yes. he's wearing a lot of armor. He is wearing okay. full plate. He, he was chugging. Um, okay. I'm just going to whisper as a free action to Athos, do you want to stay here and take a couple of them or start retreating? Because we're moving at the same turn, basically. All three. I think it's best to move back. Okay. Um, I'm going to point back towards Ujin and uh, Shin... Uh, to basically make some room for us as they can, and then just point to Catel to move back behind us as well. And then let's just take a step back. Uh, can I... <laughs> Ujin, get out of the way. Um, <laughs> Ujin, you're where I need to be. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. I told you to be there, so this is my fault. Um, Ujin, when do you move, actually? Uh, 
So I know they, they had a ready to action, they but they're not acting, on the list. Yes, they are acting on initiative zero, just for the sake of uh, ease. It's copy. Okay, no worries. Um, and I'll, I'll put that on it just in case. So We have a tendency to forget, so... Yes, there you go. Cool. Alright. Um, Alright, I'll move over here. Up here. And then I'm going to just do total defense and let them get a little closer. All right, we move back. Athos is yours. I'll fly back through up here. All right, total defense as well for you. Sorry, what's that? I was asking total defense for you as well, or would you prefer to cast a spell? Um. Can you go into total defense while you're playing? Yes, you can. Huh. Mm-hmm. Just a standard action. Yeah. For sure. You did an appropriate amount yeah, of moving sure. on your turn, so it's not an issue. Alrighty. You tell. Everyone else is advancing back, sorry, is retreating backwards. So, what shall you do? Um, I want to take a shot and then also run back. Alrighty. You got this, babe. Yeah. Oh, that's a hit! Haha. <laughs> nice. You strike through Pyx armor. Landing a blow squarely in his chest, the arrow jutting out of his metal plate. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll hide there. Alrighty. Do maybe go back one more. <laughs> I'm not gonna be in your way. No, no, you definitely won't. <laughs> you were in the way. No, you're not. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Color, can I get another d20 roll, please? Uh, hang on, just know about that. It's fine. Ooh! Alrighty. So, the field nets begin to make them move, advancing forward as everything begins to come down around them. But as the last one begins to enter, the ground begins to shake and crumble. The stairwell into this place begins to collapse. Last one is unable to make it through in time before the area is entirely cut off. The forces in here now are all that you should be trapped with. You managed to cut off any other reinforcements coming through. Alright, these two have moved up. Smack back here, it goes ahead. The smoke begins to cloud your vision. The hallway which you have trapped is hard to see through now. And as it all goes ahead, the Kitsune in the back vanishes from sight. Vanishes natural. oh, no, not naturally. Okay, that's fine. All right, the militia takes that turn and begins to move up. Then the white rider. All right, you see the White Rider die up through the smoke and move behind cover. Everyone else gets at the ready. Shinsuk and Ujin fire once more, doing their best to try and halt the approach of the enemies. Ooh! Does Ujin confirm the crit? He does not. Ujin. Right. Ah, no, that's fair. That would have been pretty crazy. It would have been. All 
Alrighty. 72 fiber damage though. That's in mount. Alright. I thought there is a few too many in his way to advance to directly retreat. But he reloads his weapon. And takes a step back. Okay. Shin Sook takes her shot, but is unable to pierce Pyok's armor. Alright, the rest of them in the back. Uh Dejong proceeds to retreat away. Hung Young stands the ground as do the rest. Alrighty. Coronas, get out of there. <laughs> Coronas exists, but does not exist simultaneously. Uh, we, we, we were under the assumption he's just on Aphis's shoulder for the time being. A bit farther away from me, hopefully. You may place him wherever you would like. He did not take any actions on your turn, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Alrighty. Pike will go I ahead. I can't see where he is now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Did it help? No, it did not help. I have no idea where you put him. <laughs> oh, perfect. Alright. Pike will go ahead and draw out a vial of some sort and down it. Then he will go ahead, take a step to the side. Dicks. Alrighty. Um, will you please take me out of the wall? Oh, sure. I think you moved me slightly and now I'm stuck. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, move up. The smoke is beginning to cloud the area. The visibility low. Goes ahead, moves forward, opens up a door down the south. Nvidia, it is your turn. Well, I was kind of hoping Pike would ball up and you know come all the way over here, but this is fine. Um, what do you think, Athos? Head back a little bit more. That was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Just lead them a little bit back. Ujin, Shinsuk, let's not be heroes. Um, I don't have to go far, and we're kind of around the bend, so it's going to be hard for them to hit us anyway. Um, get to right there, yeah. At this point, um, since it's kind of a weird spot... I'm going to cast Sea Invisibility. Alrighty. Is that your turn then? Uh. If you have not well, activated you judgment, would you like to activate a judgment? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> um, Just checking, you know. Yeah, I'll I'll activate my judgment. Uh, I gotta make sure my players are making full use of their action economies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was kind of like, it doesn't matter if they get closer. This is combat, so we're fine. Yeah, exactly. My argument, this entire thing is going to be combat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty. Athos! What shall you do? Bon video picks a judgment to be using. <laughs> I'll just uh, fly deeper. Alrighty. And maybe cast a Divine Favor on myself. Alright. Tell the retreat continues. What shall you do? Uh. Please do note, reloading a crossbow is a move action. Hmm. Focus on your own movement above that. Okay. You hear NVIDIA yell at you. <laughs>
guess I'll chill here then. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, Keller, if you're back, can you give me a fortitude saving throw? Just an advance. Can you give me a fortune saving throw, please? Um. Yes. <laughs> oh no! Make up for my bad rolls. <laughs> By giving them all the enemy bad rolls, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Is there a deity of bad luck? Because that's the deity that I apparently have subscribed to. Do I have a deity? I don't think I have a deity of bad luck, no. You get the trickster one, which is like what chaotic neutral or something. Yeah, like that? The, the, that that's the chaotic neutral. He, he is a god of luck, just not necessarily bad luck. I mean, there's a dichotomy there. Like yeah. luck as a whole yeah. does encapsulate bad luck too. Yeah, that it would count then. Anyway, um, <laughs> the dracon and the fiend in this closed area begin to inhale a great deal of the smoke that is enveloping the area from the trap. And they begin to feel woozy and... strange. The feelings kind of wobble on their feet for a second. They're already tired bodies, struggling to hold on. The nights of attacks, plus whatever's going on here, leaving them unsure of themselves. They take their time to move up, but little else. Alrighty. So. With that, the Dracon uh, now looks to be tired. <laughs> he has. <laughs> they have fatigued from the goddamn flay leaf. Uh, God damn it. Which means he can move up to. There. Alrighty, and these boys officially have the exhausted status. Love to see it. Oh, I don't know, that's a neg six to strength and dex. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that, that it's really savage. It's one of those things that if it happens to Nvidia, she will almost for certain die. <laughs> she will no longer be able to carry her weapons. Yep. Alrighty. He is actually going to seeing what's going on ahead. Do that instead. Yep. Cool. In video, you feel in the distance the White Rider's eyes fall upon you, scanning you for weakness. Am I his favorite enemy? Or is he a slayer and I'm a studying enemy? <laughs> you don't know! What could his abilities I don't be? Know. I feel like he's a ranger, so I feel like he's a favorite I'm a favorite enemy now. Oh uh, goodness. Was he always did he always say tieflings or is it just after I done kill this cat? <laughs> Who knows? Alrighty. Uh, after what you said, Shinsuke will retreat as well, Ujin. Thank you. 
All right, the rest. Twa. All right, and considering he's slow, he will continue to move back. All righty. Uh, yep. Take yeah. a five foot step, fire, and then move back? Uh, well, can't five foot step and move back. Yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Can't move, range move, can only move, melee move. It's really annoying. Need a need, uh, shot on the run for that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, Hyung will just move back for the time being. Alrighty, Payek. Break out the big guns. Ooh! That is a filthy roll. You just healed 26 hit points? That's a potion of cure serious wounds. Oh well, there you go. That's oh, that was a good roll. Just Pokemon trainer it. Yeah, he, he, you know when you get a Pokemon trainer down, he's and just they just use a full restore. Hyper potions on him. <laughs> All right, the archer was able to get out of range of the smoke cloud. So up to there this round. All right, Nvidia. Pyak is nowhere to be seen, uh, but the archer is moving forward. That's fine. Um, what about that other Kitsune archer that turned invisible? Ah, uh, you can see up? them just entering the hallway there, blocking off their allies. But right here. Yep, right there. Okay. Cool. Just uh, give me tabs on that 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 guy. Yep. Um. Okay. Um, let's see. The militia are way down there. We don't have to worry about them. Drakon is exhausted. White Rider is concerning. Um, let's everybody start finding flanking positions. Athos and Giggles, if you want to give me a hand, let's get some of these archers as they come in, if possible. Um, Giggles, you need the most room. If you want to go to the left, Athos, you and I can kind of go to the right, probably here underneath that trap. Sound good? Everybody? Yep. Okay. Um, let's see here. That's 15 feet, yeah. Um, I may even do that. I kind of want to see down the whole hallway. Um, I'll do that, and I'll uh, go ahead and just turn on total defense. Alrighty. Um, but I'm just directing everyone to start backing up, but not like retreating, retreating, get ready to start making attacks and stuff as we pull them back here. Alright. Athos, it is yours. I will. We intend to us go this, um. Yeah. Uh, Entry point, right? That seems to be the intention. I will cast up Channel Viker upon myself uh, for the haste effect. Oh, oh, oh boy! Oh man, I cannot wait till I get Channel Viker too. Is it Viker or Viker? Viker, but it is. Viger. Okay. Ah, oh, cannot wait. Love to see it. Are you sure of that? I don't know if I love to see it. Athos does enough damage on one attack already, okay? <laughs> but I only have the one. Mm. Same here. Alright, well, enjoy moving 70 feet this round if you really want to. No, I'm good where I am. Oh, okay, I'm good. Are you sure? I thought you'd maybe move over to the side a little bit there so we could be all flankety flank. Oh, yeah, good point. All right, Cattell. It seems this is where you are to make your stand. What shall you do? Um, where should I go, guys? Um, 
You have a couple options. You could fly back over here, because that's going to give you like range of this area right here without having to, you know, be in direct fire. And then you and a couple of the archers can be there. Alternatively, you could go this way, but then it is a little bit farther, you know, to go through everything and whatnot. There's a ledge over here. Uh huh. Yeah. I'll go this way. I'll chill right here, I suppose. Okay. Alright. Take the turn to reload your weapon. Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> the militia. The high militia. <laughs> will advance forward at their own pace. Plan hotbox worked, man. <laughs> Good call to tell. It, it only worked on the people. It really only worked because they were already fatigued, and double fatigue calls exhausted. So the combination of harassing them at night plus hotboxing them gives them a minus three to attack rolls and damage rolls. Speaking of, uh, Mio needs to get out of here so he can get a nap. Oh yeah, he's also fatigued. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, they did that. Alright, V, you can see the one that is invisible moving up. You may take an attack opportunity as they move past you and try to maneuver into the back lines. Wait, hold up. Uh, two things. Did This guy is not the invisible one. Where did he move from? So, I'll just put them on the token left for you. Just, just so you can... Oh, no, I'm pointing to... Oh, that's Shinsuke. I don't that's know what that red Shinsuke. freaked me out. Sorry. All right. Um, you will be able to attack to? on so the sorry. Kitsune Archer, as they will move yeah. through your threatened space. Ten foot reach, baby. Okay. Mm. Um, not using Bane, obviously. Uh, so we're just using Glaive uh, Standard. And he's injured, so I get um, Blood of the Empire... Um, Divine favor, bless is still going in. Judgment sacred destruction, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> they had two HP after the fucking. I don't care. Games. They need to die. <laughs> they are so dead. Alrighty, uh, everyone can see as Nvidia strikes out at what seemingly is the air, but turns out to know be a Kitsune body that falls to the ground as it moves past Athos, blood spilling on the ground below. Oh, Let's show. Go ahead. Also, the wrong icon on there. That's the there we go. Alrighty. Dracon Militia moves up. White Rider. I know he wants it, but he doesn't got a shot. He advances. He still has a shot. Yeah, but my point is, is that he needs to get, like, right <laughs> here. Yeah, he doesn't have a shot on Otherwise, I got coverage. Thankfully, he has plenty of other targets to take down. And he does indeed get his first hit. And it is. That at the moment because of that. Oh, good. Oof. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the arrow only grazes Shin Sook as he fires forward. Same so plan, a decisive blow. Alrighty. Uh, Giggles just kind of moves over top of the fallen Kitsune Archer. Just Good call, Giggles. I'm just trying to be at the ready. He's tapping the ground, unsure of what he really needs to be doing here. Rujin calms him down and takes a step back, reloading his weapon, preparing to fire. Hal likewise stands at the ready. Shinsuk 
taking this shot, go ahead and retreat back. Yeah, perfect. Still, still got great view to over here. Mm. Chua will likewise return. Jae Hoon will move over here. Should so take a step back. And while he else is in the way, they'll do their best. Oh, right, he rolls back around and Payek takes his turn. He moves forward with purpose. Ends there. Alrighty. And still on the best shot there. Alright. The archer. Go ahead, peek out around the corner and take a shot in. Uh, this one can go at Giggles or Ujin. We'll roll a d2. Alright, Ujin it is. What is a hit? Oh! That is Dicks. some damage. No soft cover on that? <laughs> no, not from this position, unfortunately. Yeah. Take the yeah, shot at Ujin and Go straight through his armor. Alright, NVIDIA, it is yours. Um, okay. Uh, that gives me 10 feet. Okay, perfect. Um, for the moment, we are keeping up total defense. Alrighty. Okay, that is all then, turn. Yes, I'm going to tell Ujin to uh, get back. Radio. Please. It is yours. I'll tell you do. Let me see. I'll point at this Dracon militia right here and uh, cast Command 2 for him to approach. Alrighty. Very nice of, of you. Uh, Kelly, can you give me a will save? Uh, 14. Haha! <laughs> oh. Alright, is that spend his next turn or immediately? I don't remember. On its turn, the subject moves towards you quickly and direct as possible. Yep, oh, on his turn. Alrighty. Anything else for your turn then? Uh, nope. Alrighty, Catel, it is yours. Oh, sorry, I, I'll i step back right there. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. If I step right here, can I reach them? Uh, you would be able to. You will be on Giggle Square, though. So you'll have to move off before the end of your turn. Okay, so like I can step here, shoot, and then ah. Not step ah. back, unfortunately. No, sorry. That, that's just not how range attacks work because it's obnoxious. <laughs> it, it, it it doesn't work with that to avoid people from moving in and out of cover for fire. Catch it here. Let's go. But if you were to throw um, a web, uh, throw a alchemist weapon, that would be applicable. But that does have some distance on it. Mm-hmm. Oof, yeah, that does have some distance on it for their own weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, if I step here, can we say that I, like, peek around the corner? Yeah, you can peek here? around that little bit of uh, debris. That's easily. Okay. Oh, man, you've been rolling great. That is some good, another good roll. All right, you take the shot, and it pierces through the dragon's armor, flying past the stone walls and striking him square in the shoulder. Blood drains out. 
the red on red. Alrighty. Anything else for your turn? Uh, no. Alrighty. The hotbox militia, go ahead and move up. Things will not go well. Okay, attack of opportunity. <laughs> oh, you don't get an attack of opportunity while you're using total defense. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of it. Sorry, I thought you knew that. Fair, annoying, but fair. So you get while fighting uh, defensive, just not while using specifically total defense. Oh, that's the difference. Copy that, I'll remember that in the future. Yeah, and fighting defensively can only be done while attacking. Right, yeah, because you get the minus two or whatever. Yeah. Alrighty, the Fiamid Militia move up. Ktel and Athos directly in front of you. Alright, the archer is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might love to see it. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't. Alrighty, the Militia. Go ahead. You'll move up and in, taking a swing at you, NVIDIA. Finally able to get into melee. That is a net that is one. A miss. Alrighty. Alright, well, they're doing the best. <laughs> ah, sorry, this is an important question for you, Athos. How high in the air would you like to be? These caverns have a 20 foot high ceiling. Um, I'll just be like five feet above the ground. Okay, just checking. Alrighty, the White Rider. I'll go ahead. And he will. See you in the air, Air Force, and take his shots. Alright, he has that. Which is. Alrighty, he fires off a flurry of arrows at you, Air Force. Uh, four shots come your way. Does a 26 Damn. hit you? Yes. Alright, a 20 and a 7. Ah, <laughs> uh, my ace is 20 to me. Alrighty. Were you fighting defensively? Or uh, had total defense? No. Oh, okay. Oof. Oof, god dang. The first pair of arrows strikes at you, piercing through your armor just around the gut. Alright, take 16 points of damage. Alrighty. It's time for bad, bad things to happen. Giggles will go ahead and take a full round action with the two people that are directly in front of him. This guy's flanked. That guy is actually flanked, yes. Ten, ten, ten foot reach helps. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, he gets... There are three hits out there. Cool, cool. Yeah, and they have a negative penalty to dex. Yeah, that's those are, those are all hits. Oh, boy. <laughs> And the increased damage goes through... Oh no... Alrighty... Uh, Giggles mauls the first fielded militia that walks in front of him, and then takes a chunk out of the other one. <laughs> His wounds already hampering him. The hotboxing doing him no better. The two fionids <laughs> in front of you are slaughtered. Claws and jaws ripping them apart. Alrighty. These two take... 
the shots at the Dracon in front of you, NVIDIA. Thanks, guys. Oh. Yeah. Man, it's about the public comments. Oh, we got one Hey! Here. There you go. It may only take one. It's not looking great. He is not looking good. He's taken a few hits already. Oh, that's so close. Uh, no, that's fine. Good job. Who was that? Who hit him? That was Chua. Because of course it was. Chua does a miss. Chua's too good at this. You oh, need to keep it. It's a really good Chua around. Uh, Hung does not have a good shot from here because Giggles is in the way. Alrighty, and then how it will roof up. <laughs> and last one is also at that. Yeah, last one's also at that. Alright, cool. Claw, claw, bite, bite is a hit. <laughs> It is for that much. Alright, by the combined forces of cats, <laughs> all of the dragon that <laughs> entered have now perished. Job team. Uh, the cats are too strong, obviously. <laughs> they don't even need pounce. Strong continues to move about and back. Oh, righty. Cats have done their turn, doing the damage necessary. Payek gets ready and moves up. I can tell you, you, you exist. But unfortunately, you are not in charge range. Mm. So instead, he'll go ahead and swing at Athos. Hayek moves in, great sword. Sorry, fell off great sword. Falchion held high. He advances and takes a swing at you, Athos. And that is a 21 to hit. Ooh. That a miss, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> he seems to have something in his spare hand. Hasn't done anything with it just yet. Alright, the archer back here will go ahead. Move forward and take a shot. Over at Giggles. Because that tiger just killed two people very casually. It does get a hit. Arrow strikes through the fur of Eagles and lands squarely in his side. Alrighty, Nvidia it is your turn. Hayek is here. The enemies before you have fallen, but he still stands. He's also flanked. So, um, yeah, let's start this with Pike. Um, he is flanked. I am not going to use Bane yet. He's got something on him, and I don't like that. Um, and he's attacking Athos, which I also don't like. So this is just going to be a regular glaive, but with all the benefits on it. Dope. Oh, that's a hit. I see. I know his AC is like 25-ish, so. <laughs> it's taken a hit. He did just charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. He also, I should have used power attack. Dang it. <laughs> Take a swing. He does have a minus AC. Yeah. <laughs> Strike at him from behind, his back bleeding profusely. As your glaive is able to slice through his armor. I mean, that's a care of most of his healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's effectively healed 2 HP off a really good roll cure series words. Yeah, but he's up in our business now, so he that's not now. good. Alright, is that your turn done? Yeah, I, I, I've i attacked, so I can at least attack of opportunity now. Anybody else who decides to come in here. 
Athos, it is yours. Full attack on pipe. Full attack on pipe. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking dead. Oh, that is. Yes. Oh no! Love to see it max damage. His charge AC means he gets hit twice. That wouldn't have hit him if he hadn't charged. <laughs> Love to see it, Athos. Alrighty, how do you want to get him? How do you want to? What do you want to do to Pyek? Because this will be his end if you so choose it. Oh, that's a shame. But unfortunately, a non-lethal would not hit him, so... Oh, we don't take Nick 4 on non-lethal, you just can't crit. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, he brought it up earlier, I think. Oh, then, uh... Yeah, I'll do non-lethal. Oh, okay. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it would have legitimately felt bad if you killed him. I was about to... Don't. Alrighty. Cool. Okay, one of the would one of the hits kill him. No, only two of the hits would have killed him. He he survives the first attack. Okay, the first hit on him will. I will use my swift action to uh, draw upon his life source. I need that. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. You strike. The second hit. <laughs> uh, basically, I, uh, when he comes charging it, I will strike him with my scythe, and then as I draw it back, I will kind of knock him with the uh, shaft. Alrighty. You take the first swing, cleave into his scythe, twirl your scythe about, and pummel him on the side of the head. And with that, he drops to the ground unconscious. But still breathing. Yeah, I can tell. There's an unconscious enemy in front of you if you'd like to coup to grab them. <laughs> uh, no thank you. Just checking. <laughs> um, there's a person right here? There is indeed. He seems pretty healthy. You also said there's, there's been arrows flying out from further below. Uh... Okay. I'm going to attempt to shoot that person. Alrighty. Gosh, you've been rolling so good. Oh, I loved it. good I loved rolls, it. man. You take the shot and it flies past the stone walls. This is the spot. You know people are hiding here. You're ready for them. And it strikes him. Alrighty. Your crossbow aims true today. Yay! <laughs> Anything else for your turn? Uh, nah. I'm just gonna chill here. Alright. These boys are down. This boy is down. The White Rider is all that truly remains for the time being. He still isn't happy about everything that's transpired thus far. Takes a step forward. Shoots at you once more, Athos. Pike might have gone down. Boy, oh, he's just a bitch. Alright. Arrows loose and rain upon you once more, Athos. Uh, this time, a 23. Does your uh, bonus to heal. Does your temper. That is anything? exactly my AC. Okay, I was just checking if you got any specific bonuses because of your life draining. Did you uh, give yourself it. the HP from that? Uh, yes, it's a temp HP. Oh, right. Okay, I was like, I feel like you're at the same health. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it doesn't get through the temp HP. <laughs> Alrighty. The arrows fire off, but... The barrier of life that you have stolen from Pyek shields you, leaving you unharmed. Alrighty, giggles. Uh, can't really move through to fight people in there. Uh, Ujin asks, turns to you, Nvidia, do we advance upon them? Let me check something very quickly. Alright. We've got less. Um, <laughs> less Ujin, sorry. Ujin, real quick, can you tell me how many people are between us and the White Rider? None. Because I'm not around that corner. 
Nine? One in the corner. All right, Giggles can't get through there, um, but if the rest of us can start shooting at them, I think I'm gonna advance on the White Rider. Athos, if you wanna join me. Sure. Cool. Could you give me a, a count of about how far away they are from this hallway and I'm just gonna sprint at them? Um, a few meters only. You'll be fine. Okay. Cool, just making sure. At 30 feet. Oh, perfect. Like, 30 feet of me running? 30 feet for you to get there, exactly. Wonderful, cool. Yeah, perfect. Just want to double check. Okay, that's all. Um, Ujin, you need to back up. Giggles can't get through. Um, get yourself healed up before doing anything crazy. That that White Rider can hit for a bucket. Ujin moves back and gets Giggles to come with him. Thank you. That was keep that at position. I'm going to tell uh, Shinsuk the cat is not here right now. And that concerns me, so could you keep an eye? Like, don't go anywhere, but just keep an eye this way. Nods in agreement. Alrighty, that's them done for this time. Pike is down. The archer still remains, however. And he will go ahead and take a shot at you in return, Katel. Shouldn't have shot him. Does a 16 hit you, Cattell? No. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> what a tank you are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tank, man. Can't hit Cattell. <laughs> Let me go ahead. Move behind to deeper cover. All right, video is yours. Okay, we're doing, we're, do, we're, do, we're doing plan. Go after the uh, guy here. Um, yeah, you are right there. Cool. Um... I'm going to go right here, because I know I can do that trap if necessary. I would take another move action for me to go to within five feet anyway. Um, so cool. All right. I'm going to look at him because he's already tried to hit me once. All right. Um, we have that. We do not have flanking anymore. Um, Archer can hit me. So we'll have to do something about that later, but White Rider is more concerning right now. Um, he is injured, so I have that. I, I would have needed to see him anyway, so there's no point to doing that. Uh, we'll, we'll use a Bane. <laughs> I know what he is, right? You know that uh, Fionnid's a uh, humanoid bestial subtype? Okay. Let's, let's use Bane and... Uh, Let's see what happens here. Um, he's got... This is probably going to be dumb. I'm going to power attack him, too. I know he's got good AC, but he doesn't have great AC, I think. Who knows? Hopefully, me. Um, <laughs> Hopefully. Will the Bane offset um, it? That's what I'm hoping. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm not hasted. Oops. Okay, this one. Oh! <laughs> How <laughs> about that Bane offsetting it? Oh, I, I did make sure that the Bane is not triple. Is not a triple. It's not triple. That doesn't else. matter. You think he's living through eighty-two points of damage? <laughs> oh, All man. right. Your glaive has to swing high and move through these hallways, but you may finish him as you so please. I have no qualms about killing this guy. He was evil. Um, oh, that's definitely. I, but you can make it as dramatic as you'd like. <laughs> I know he was gutting for me, so I'm basically just going to slip around the rubble there and just kind of grin at him as I... Well, there's not much I could... I'm just charging forward with the glaive. So I'll... Uh, just come up. Yeah, I'll literally just run forward and decapitate him, basically. Alrighty. You move past the rubble, down the hallway, and with a single swift slice and a short movement, you remove his head from his body, and the archer holds his bow for a second before he falls to the ground, lifeless. 
<laughs> Love to see it. Um, with that said, not this guy can hit me, but that's okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Athos. Um, it seems like half the job's already been done, so uh, up to you. <laughs> I'll call out and say, we got your two biggest guys. You, do you guys want to still keep fighting? Can I aid another on an Intimidate check? You can not aid another, but uh, Athos, you're welcome to make an Intimidate check if you'd like, or Diplomacy, take your pick. <laughs> um, I, do oh, I don't have it. Yeah. Uh... Nice going, Athos. <laughs> videos exist as this intimidating enough at that point. <laughs> hey, you don't know how lucky this field turned. archer is. They can't see what just happened there. All they see is a bloody lave as he brings it as she brings it back to herself. <sighs> and oh, you don't get their response until they're turned, so up to you on what you're doing until then. Just come up here and uh, back up the video. All right. The menacingly floating man with a scythe, surrounded by dark, swirling life force energy. <laughs> we, we we look pretty terrifying. The literal <laughs> devil decapitating people with a bloody weapon. Ah. Uh. Alright, could tell. Um, that's all happening. What are you doing? Um. Uh, I guess I'll stand here and just kind of keep an eye out on them. Alrighty. Not really doing much. Oh, good. A rider is dead. This, these guys hold their turn. Oh, that delayed everything. Whoops. Uh, but we roll around to the field archer's turn, and they, seeing everything before them, drop their weapon and take a That's step fair. back, holding up their hands and kneeling on the ground. <clears throat> we'll accept the surrender. That's That's fine. And with that, the entrance is empty. Those who pursued you have been felled. You do not know what awaits you further in the caves, but for now, this battle is won. Yeah. Alrighty, well, um, buddy. Let's just for your own safety, um, we're gonna have to tie and gag you, but you will be treated with respect beyond that, and uh, you uh, won't be killed if you come with us. Is that okay? If you would prefer, I can remain stuck and stay here. I'm sure the others will be able to get me soon enough. Uh, n no, I would not prefer that. I would rather you not die down here. Well, you can leave me as soon as we get up, uh, 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 up on the surface once more. Okay. Well, before that, and I'm, we have some. I assume we can find some rope. Oh, you guys have yeah. pure adventures. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna tie him up um, and make sure that he's gagged and cannot screech or scream or anything. Yeah, he will ask before you do that. Please tend to Pyx wounds. I don't care about the white ride, but he does not deserve to die here. Oh no! Don't don't even worry about it. Pikes are respectable and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Honorable. Um, Dracon. We aren't planning on killing him. He's just knocked out, right, Athos?
Oh, sorry. Oh, he, 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 he had the I'm obvious. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yes, got it. See, told you. Um, okay. Let us. We're gonna take this the archer with us, and we're gonna start making our way around where we're supposed to. But we're gonna get Athos and Giggles and Ujin healed by that Dracon first. He has an additional four challenges per day. So if we want, we can just hit everyone up with that as need be. Would you like to try and heal any of the dying Felonids or um, other militia that was sent against you? Uh, who's dying? Is anybody... Uh, one of the field is dying. This is this would of normally require heal checks. The Dracon is only dying. It is not dead. Ah. And the others mm. have perished. So there's two people you can save if you want to. Um, I'm gonna look over at the archer who is still alive and actually be like, assuming we get away, do you think that your army or whatever will be able to come and get you guys down here? They will find us. Or at least Fantastic. There are others up on the surface. You block their entrance. Right. No, I, I realize that. Um, in that case, is do we know if they're do they have a brig or a dungeon in here? Uh, there is not. That's fine. Actually, this is a very important thing. Who here would like to roll me knowledge or religion? Oh, I actually can do that. No, I cannot. <laughs> wow. I saved my good rolls for combat. Yeah, you really did. It's fine. Um, actually, you know. Oh, is it gonna be that uh, they don't believe in imprisoning people? It may or may not be. We will wait until Athos is here before we establish that. Uh, so we'll take five real quick while we wait for him to get back, and everyone can now the combat's done. Run to the bathroom, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Cat feeding time. We are back, by the way. Hello? Anybody else back? I am. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry that you have been kept out of the action for the last two sessions. <laughs> okay, 
We'll figure it out. All right. Well, hopefully next session. Okay, good. Hopefully the next session is more all you. All right, I return. Welcome back. Cats are fed. Cats are fed. Uh, Carlo, the cats are fed. Oh, I you, fed my cats yeah, like too. two hours ago, and yeah, then they don't get fed again for another two hours. I ah. fed them before campaign started. Oh, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. And is Nick back? Take that as a no. No worries. We can wait a little while longer. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Oh, but what I was thinking is I was just going to um, uh, tie these guys up in anywhere that is, you know, down here where they can be rescued by their buddies. All righty. So, um, with the healing, so you do say if the lives of those that were injured, uh, sorry, that were dying but not dead? Yeah, we can't bring them back. <laughs> no, that's all good. I'm just trying to check upon the situation. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. You bind them and leave them over in... We'll put them in the starting area. Okay, yeah. They are alive and stable, but mm -hmm. none too well. Uh, the cleric Dejun goes ahead and conjures up some water for them so that oh, they good. may drink in case the rescue takes a great deal of time. Okay. Leave them some supplies, some food and stuff, you know. That one's up to you guys. If you want to leave them food, Day John can just create water. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave them first. some food. Alright. How much food would you like to leave them? I mean, enough for a few days at the very least. Alrighty. We should have that much here. Uh, amongst the group, yes. Now, an important question. What are you going to do with Pyek and the other bodies? Oh. Pike's alive. Yes, he is still alive. Um, that is actually a decision for Athos. For the right. bodies. <laughs> um, uh, for we, itself, it I is would rather rock out here, so it will be very yeah. difficult to dig and offer a proper burial specifically. Is there like rocks we could do a sort of? Well, we don't have time for that. Um, Pike, we may just drag with us. Not me, somebody else. Giggles? <laughs> <laughs> you can't throw him on Giggles back. He is a large creature. Um, we'll tie him up and put him on Giggles back. Alrighty. Cool. So we'll do that. Is there a root icon? I swear. Oh, there's the, there's the webbing and there's the net icon. Wait, that's the wrong one. Close enough. There it is, grouping. That's fine. They're grouped, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Grouping does weird things with larger creatures on roll twenty. It's it's strange. Yeah, it sometimes always separates the sizes and stuff. D yeah, it, it doesn't matter. All right, yeah. now, um, just as a bit of other plan you can do without apples, which exit do you plan on going through? Um, we have the horses 
down here. Down to the south, yes. It, you just also yeah, so have the other option of the northwestern exit, if you so choose. Uh, no, our goal is to make sure that we get our allies out of here as quickly as possible as well. Um, approximately, we saw quite a few coming through. Approximately how many are left topside, do we think? I know the cat is still topside. Yes, you know the cat is still topside. Um, there were several injured up top, and those who were also trapped in the pits. If they were to rescue them, there would still be at least another six. Plus the cat. I... Okay. If you add in those so... who are trapped in the pits, probably about nine or so. They're probably okay. Um... Okay, well, I think we'll just ad address the group as a whole and be honest and be like, all right, so this is how it's looking. There's still approximately and most likely nine people topside still alive that will be waiting for us. We all know the plan is to escape to the south. There is still a large predatory cat that was very strong that's still alive. So leaving it up to the group including those that do we want to try to the rest of them over and fight them or would we rather while well, we can such potentially uh tell you can go first on answering that if you'd like Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, what happened? <laughs> You're right next to me. <laughs> there is also a box of chocolates right in front of me, which is very distracting. Oh, wonderful. All right. My suggestion was to the group, or not even a suggestion, but a question posed to the group, including those who have been with Hujan, is... Realistically speaking, there's still probably about nine people topside who are in varying states of injury, along with a most likely fully healthy, very dangerous predatory cat. Our options are, we already know we can potentially escape to the south. I'm hoping that that's still an option available to us. And... Um, If we do, we could just escape with Pike as our hostage, or we could try to finish off the final nine. But I'm leaving that up to the group as a whole. Well, since they're already here, I think we should uh, deal with them first. Maybe they'll give up if we, like, bring Pike up there and uh, hold a dagger against us through. Yeah, the cat we may have to fight regardless. Because I did totally kill its... Um, not we got both of them in one hit. Shouldn't be too hard for you. <laughs> yeah, well, those were two very lucky hits back to back. Let's not let's not make I that a. <laughs> if somebody else can flank it, that'd be great. Uh, all right. Well, most of the um, most of Wushan's, Wushan's forces believe that they should decide once they reach the exit and see if anyone's waiting there for them. True. Um, Athos also wanted to double check. There is no place to bury these people. But I know you believe really strongly laying people to rest properly. Is there anything you want to do with them, the dead, before we leave? Well, we can at least organize them so someone can uh, bury them easier. Okay. I think that's fair. Um, we'll, uh, I guess, organize the bodies cleanly. Um, I'll put the head light of the White Rider just on his chest lightly. Alright. I'm others... just kind of like yeah. under my breath be like, that was way more hardcore than I meant. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Nvidia, decapitate I don't, someone I don't in the middle of battle it, with a stern face. <laughs> and then just after I don't like... regret it. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, okay. guys. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Okay, all right, oh, and uh, nice. let's go ahead and start making our way. Um, if Shinshuk and uh, Chai Wat Ra could uh, kind of act as like scouts and give us a heads up if anything's ahead of us, we can make our way around to the other entrance, yeah, or the exit down over here. All right. So before that all goes ahead, they help. They take a few of the under blankets left behind from the bedding and the barracks kind of area they use that and organize you will help organize the bodies as need be um question are you looting the bodies i thought about it of course but... <laughs> but, you know we, we we'll at least search the bodies to make to see if there's any notes additional orders things like that Alrighty. Including uh, pikes, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh good. So, <laughs> sorry, just, just the of course from Athos. I, 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 I thought. Uh, but sorry, Nick. Can you give me a religion check for Athos and Karunas, if relevant? Oh wow! <laughs> Karunas is actually entering there. Oh, that's the one he doesn't have because you have all the ranks in it? Yeah, figured. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, Cattell, you're our only hope. Do you have knowledge religion? Yes, I think so. Uh, and... Nice. Alrighty, there we go. You also have inspiration if you'd like. Sure, why not? Hey, do I all right, you can tell. Uh, you know that the blessed of Ban Hung and his faith do not believe in long-term imprisonment. Ban Hung follows a somewhat brutal policy that it is up to the arbiter to decide the fate of true criminals and those who would attempt to destroy the sanctity of life. Most of them believe that only temporary holdings for one's own safety is acceptable. Beyond that, death is preferable to imprisonment. If you have been good and just, then your uh, reward will be in the afterlife, or your punishment will be found there as well. But I think this qualifies as temporary holding. Yeah, simply capturing an enemy is not considered against anyone's faith. And that is or, this is only a belief of the Blessed of Ban Hung, Ralph, and Anne Vassilia as a whole. There are very few jails in Anne Vassilia as a result of this, though. So that is what you know about the matters of imprisonment specifically. You also know that uh, if you're old, that by the 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 race in Anversaire which follows the Barnhang the least is the Dracons. <laughs> mm. All right. It's not uncommon, but it's less common than the others. Okay. Well, hearing that, I think we did okay then. Do we want to start heading our way back around? Yep. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. you guys begin to look through the bodies as you prepare them and lay them down. Um, you are welcome to loot the generic loot off of the soldiers if you would like. It is nothing that stands out as magical or of great importance though. What so, about Pyek? Uh, Pyek and the White Rider have their own specific loot, but I was just going to ask if you want any of the generic mooks loot or not. 
I don't know if we have the capacity to carry all of that. It's a matter of where we check my, uh, the how much I can carry. Okay. <laughs> After bull strength wears off, obviously. Mm-hmm. Of course, yes. I think I can carry 200 pounds capital. All right. So the two dracons. <laughs> uh, the two dracons will each have a masterwork warhammer, and on both of them there is also a dose of anesthetic wine. Anesthetic. Oh, on one of them there is a vial of alchemist fire, on the other one a vial of acid. Nice. And if you care about, they also have iron lamellar armor and a heavy steel shield each. Cool. Uh, iron lamellar is relatively heavy if you want to be taking that, such considering it. How heavy is it? Uh, Iron Lamela is 50 pounds. It is worth 200 gold or 100 when sold. I'll take it. Alright, there is two sets of that. Alright, for the feel nodes, we have... Da, 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 da. Uh... One masterwork glaive, another masterwork uh, short spear on that one. Uh, each of them also have a light crossbow with 20 bolts and a total of four tangle foot bolts. Wow. Each of them has must work lamella leather armor. Anything that we're taking, um, do you want to write down into the loot? Oh, I was hoping someone else was doing that while I was going through all this. Sorry. <laughs> I, I assumed Athos was taking this down. Ah, uh, yes, some of it. Whatever you guys are feeling relevant, of course, yes. Um, so, Lamela Lever is 25 pounds and is 210 gold or 105 when sold. Mm. Probably won't take the uh, armor, just their weapons. Alrighty. Then we have. Uh, that one got blocked out and was unable to enter. Yep. That's that, that's that, that's that. And we have two more. Alrighty, the Kitsune Archer, who died while invisible because you actually got wise, uh, wise metrics. Poor Kitsune. <laughs> uh, this one had. Yep, a masterwork longbow. Uh, it is not composite. <laughs> Uh, d -d 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 yes, that is the only thing of value on them. Unless you want to take the steel lamellar armor, which is basically discount breastplate. <laughs> 35 pounds weighs, uh, sorry, yeah, weighs 35 pounds, worth 150 gold, 75 when sold. No, that's fine. Alright, also, they also Sorry, have all the cavalry. weapons, it was two Master Warhammers and the Masterwork Longbow, and what else? Uh, Masterwork Longbow, Masterwork Glaive, and Masterwork, uh, Short Spear. Okay. And, sorry, there is a another Caltrop bead. Uh, 
which is the thing that uh, explodes into caltrops when fired or thrown. Do either of you want that? For which one? I apologize. Uh, the caltrop. Yeah. The caltrops I do want. Yes. Even if I just write them in the loop, we can bring it all to Lynn when we meet back up, and we can sort of divide it up as necessary. All good. Alrighty, and then we'll move on to the stuff you actually care about because it's relevant loot. <laughs> All right, who wants to give me a spellcraft check as the White Rider's bow glows of some kind of magic? Tell. Spellcraft? Yep. Um, identify if you have the spell. Oh, 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 you, oh. oh. that's a I good even one. Even this. <laughs> All righty, Tell. You can tell this weapon is designed to. Be more effective against those that you hunt. It is, it has the huntsman ability. It is a masterwork composite one longbow. Ooh, nice. And basically what the ability does is when you tr uh, attack someone who you have tracked in the previous day, you deal an additional d6 damage against them. Oh, is that what it was going to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things. For reference, you did guess right. He is a slayer. Mm. He, he so had, he had a he study, had target. study target on you. <laughs> got it. But you'd be glad yeah. he never got a surprise round on anybody because when he does that, he basically does average of like... Was with, with It's 46, so it's... Was eight d six plus four d eight plus four is his damage on a surprise round on a full round if they haven't acted yet? It's absurdly high. He is not someone you want to be caught surprised by. Yeah, I'm glad we took him out before I could do that. Yeah, he, he, good thing you guys were ready for the combats ahead. I would have yeah. downed everyone but tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the damage rolls specifically. Yeah. How's it feel, Cattell, being the most ta tanky member of the party? You're welcome. I'm the, I mean, I'm just untouchable, guys. Hmm. <laughs> Literally, though. Also, I'm sorry. Like two points of damage. I was mistaken. It is an adaptable uh, Huntsman Composite Longbow. Adaptable means it modifies itself to whatever your strength bonus is. Oh, that's cool. Yes. I'm not going to say dibs. <laughs> It's very useful. It's the only way to get above a plus five strength mod on your bows. Okay. Well, yeah, let's, I, that feels like something that Lynn would like, so let's make sure we keep that. Anything uh, else the White Rider has? Yes, actually. Can I get two more spellcraft checks? And a craft alchemy check. Uh -huh. <laughs> can tell it to feel useful five. outside of combat and in combat. Mm hmm I'm oh, assisting right. her with those ones. Oh, good. Now, you can't assist on spellcraft, but you can make your own independent rolls. Just because it's all about detect magic things, it's weird. Do you want your free d6 from inspiration? It's <laughs> also an option. Uh, For the yeah. two spellcrafts, yeah. There you go. Alrighty. Um, Athos and Cattell, you can tell that one of his arrows is magical. Ah, uh, that's kept to the side. It is a ghost touch arrow. Don't know why it's there, but it's there. Um, so, specifically, it's an arrow that has the ghost touch quality when fired. It will lose this magic upon its first use. Oh, interesting. Alrighty. Uh, and the next thing... Uh, I can tell you're able to get Athos here or not is a potion of Cat's Grace. <gasps> Nobody has Cat's Grace. No one has Cat's Grace. Grace. In the goddamn cat country has Cat's Grace. <laughs> no one is a spellcaster and the dragons use strength. What do you want from me? That's true. Um, ooh. 
uh, one of the things you tell you're able to find relatively familiar and identify on the spot. And you can tell these are pheromone arrows laced with the same kind of pheromones that are tuned with cats. Hmm. So there, you have five more of those, three more tangle shot arrows, and the last thing you take a moment to identify. It seems a bit strange at first. It's a little pill. And you recognize it as a chameleon pill. Which basically, it works similar in a way to invisibility, where your skin will naturally blend with the environment around you. It gives a plus four circumstance bonus on stealth checks for four hours after being consumed. Alrighty, that's what the White Rider had. Also, here's a Masterwork chain shirt, so I mean, if you care about that. Alrighty. Payek has a Masterwork Composite 5 Strength Longbow. For him. Yeah, he has a high strength score. He has a flat 10 dex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he That's has, same as uh, Yeah. He has um, a set of full plate. It is a masterwork set of full plate. It is a burnished black color. Cool. And he also has a, a falchion. Can I get a spellcraft check on that? Ooh. Nice. This my twin. This twin. All right. Napos, you identify this as a keen falchion. Ooh. Which means it crits on a 15 to 20. <laughs> Which he somehow never rolled, by the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Happens. It does. Uh, so yeah, that's Masterwork Keen Falchion. Uh, and then Spellcraft Alchemy, as he has two more potions on him that he didn't consume. Oh, and just for reference, the one he cast on himself at the very end of the combat was protection from arrows. Eh, that's fair. Yeah. You guys were shooting at him, he was prepared. Nope, can tell, uh... Spellcraft or spell. Craft Alchemy? Oh. Ho ho. Alrighty, and another one. Alrighty, on him he also has a potion of Shield of Faith and three doses of Troll Styptic. Oh, we've been running into that quite a bit. Yes, you know that trolls are actually relatively common in this area. Ogres and the like. They prefer caves and relatively uninhabited lands where they can assault others unimpeded by true armies. Which Enviselia is prime target for. And that's all of the relevant loot that you may take. <laughs> no notes or orders or anything? No, if there was any orders given, it seems they were kept firmly in memory rather than left outside in the open for others to take. Okay. Sounds good. Athos, did you write all that down? You mean keep the coast of certain people so you can ask them questions? Yes. <laughs> All right. Then let's start making our way out. 
Alrighty. You guys are able to make your way out. With the traps in mind, you're able to move past without any real difficulty. And no creatures jump out at you in the meanwhile. But something does stop you and catch your eye. Everyone... Oh, I'm sorry, I'll just move people... Uh, just move yourselves over for the time being on this one. We, we won't worry about the NPCs. Oh, happy. Yeah, we'll get there. Just in a second. Sorry, it's such a big map, I can't physically drag everyone in a single stroke. Alright. rescue me. I don't remember the way. <laughs> That's fine. You're almost there. Alright. Something strange... <laughs> before you as you move through the caverns. A single door blocks the way into a small room. Uh, it looks to have been left, well, at least relatively abandoned now. It's another area within the fort that seems to have been repaired somewhat. A single spot for bathing, two live plants and a small altar with a hammock in the corner. It seems like some kind of sanctum of quiet and solitude. You don't remember Lynn reporting anything about this back, but you don't remember her saying anything against it otherwise. Just a small, quiet area with a large rug which seems comfortable to stand or sit on. Hmm. Oh, you said there's a temple? Yes, it seems like there's a small altar here. Altar. What is an altar to? It looks like an altar to Barnham. But there's no regalia or anything else around here. They would speak of dark gods or secret cultish rituals. It just seems like a place of peaceful calm. I'm not sure why this was hidden away, but it was. There are any personal effects in this room? Not of note. Uh, you do know that Wushan did take away basically anything involving their association with this area. Whatever she could, at least. The stuff that's on the map to the left is obviously just there for show. Mm hmm. What do you think, guys? Secret Wushan room? Do the um, do the other people that were with know anything about this? No, they all seemed relatively shocked that this place existed. They had never really journeyed into the caverns. There was no need. It just seems strange this to be hidden away. But and we didn't see this when we were exploring? Uh, Lin was the one left to exploring the area. And you remember I her know. returning for that? Sorry? I had done a little bit of exploring like through the caverns, so I knew which way to go, right? You did the initial one, yes. But, um... Most of it was left to Lynn. And the original incarnation of what was going on. Okay. And the other ones were able to climb up through the caverns in the uh, food storage area for a much quicker trip to the far south. Mm. There was no need to go this way. Okay. Athos could tell thoughts. Tell provides great insight. So, oh, I was just sorry. I, I thought I muted myself. Uh, that was that was just my eye, eye glass. Sorry, my glasses cleaner. Okay. <laughs> well, we don't have the time to investigate too much. There really isn't too much to investigate here, though. Just a simple. 
quiet area off to the side. Okay. All right. Then if Lynn didn't bring it up, I'm sure it's fine, whatever it is. So we're going to head on through. All righty. You go on through without issue. Something you do notice is that they, these doors look like they have a strong lock on them, but it's been left open for you to travel through. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, once you move through, through there, navigate your way through the back caverns, you're able to exit without any other issue. Okay, you... send uh, Chua and uh, the other one um, uh, through the ladder first to be lookouts. Yes, they head up, and they keep an eye out and say there is no threats at hand. can't get up there, so. Alright. And with that, everybody is able to exit. Now at the base of the hill, you see up top a distant smoke burning. Perhaps it looks to be green? Maybe a flare of some sort. You're unsure exactly what that means. But for now, you have Pyek, and no one is blocking your exit. What shall you do from here? Uh, could you bring us to the other map? Uh, sure. You will not be on this map for the relevance of distance. Oh, oh okay. That's right. Yes, you are below the bottom of where the cliffs are. And people have been moved for the pure sake of um, me doing maths and calculations and whatnot. For sure, for sure. You can see that in the distance there is a great plume of smoke as the wooden fort burns to the ground. The tents, everything left, turn to little more than ash. All right, guys, it looks like we can make a clean getaway here, like discussed, but we'll leave it up to everybody here. Do we want to take a stand against the last of these, or do we want to, you know, get away while we can? All right. Um, Trois will speak up for her part. After all that's been done, and the disruptions that we've caused, they all want sleep, they've inhaled smoke, have seen much battle. We are nomads, and we know how to survive in the wilderness. The rest of us Fionids can go on our way, and halt any troops that do try and come after us. We'll move away from here, and you should be fine to head on your own. I don't think there's any need for more death today. Okay. Athos, Gatel, thoughts? Uh, I agree with that sentiment. Yeah. All right. Athos? Well, I do think we ought to finish it off, or... At the very least, you know, let them know that they have been defeated and that it may be in their best interest to uh, scurry away. Um, Ujin speaks up. Oh, well, if you want, we could, like, tie up Payek and then send him up the top of the hill if you don't want to question him. That Then they'd surely know what happened and they need not continue. Mm-hmm. You give him a bit Is there of a talk to him, I'm sure he's a decent Oh, that is up to you guys. Uh, I suppose we should question them to see what the thoughts are of what's going in the city. What's going on in the city right now? He's pretty well tied up, right? Yeah, he seems relatively bound. 
Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and uh, ask him a couple questions, and then we'll send him up that way, uh, you know, defeated. Alright. Daedrum goes ahead and heals him so that he is able to recover from his wounds. And One hit. wakes up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Around there. He looks up at you. Is he is he gagged currently or no? Uh, he will start gagged. All right. He will look up at you uh, as as he wakes up. His eyes seem downcast, but stubborn nonetheless. Okay. Well, uh, Pike, it. I'm sorry that it did come to this, but we understand that you are very honorable not to mention respected amongst your peers and I think losing you would have been a loss for all of Anatharius some of your companions not so much but those who are still alive you will be able to find in the rubble with supplies and they'll be able to make it out okay by the time you get to them not if you understand he nods with that said, we do have a couple of questions for you, because we would like a little bit of information, but you'll have to give us that information both willingly and not scream for help. If you scream for help, I will unfortunately be forced to stab you again until you hopefully don't die, but just, you know, collapse. He... That's not what you meant, right? He looks over at you and just kind of shakes his head. He doesn't look like he's going to scream for help. He doesn't look like he's going to scream for help? He does, does not look, look like he's going to scream for help. Okay. Just make it true. Alright, I'm going to ungag him. Doing okay, buddy? I am fine. No, or not. The wounds right. well, will not end me. No. Um, you nearly were ended, but our friend here didn't want to kill you either. And for that... Time will do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As he says a lot. Um, we do have a couple questions about the... about uh, Anatharius, if you don't mind answering them. I will answer what I can. What does the mayor know of this location, and what is... What 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 does he what, what does the mayor know about Wushan and her plans? He knows little about this location. We were surprised to find a fort here itself. It must be from a bygone era. The city does not keep much on history records. However, yeah. We also know a little of Rushan's plans beyond her usual antics. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak much for what will happen, but a great majority of us were sent out here in an attempt to quell the riots before they would begin. The mayor wanted to preserve the town before it was assaulted. I see now so the mayor... that was a mistake. And I'm going to choose my words very carefully. So the mayor knows that Wushan is here. He believes so, yes. He wanted to stop her and her forces. Mm -hmm. Before it would be a simple camp in the woods. But I see now that you were far more well prepared than we had anticipated. Of course. With that in mind, and I ask you this more as a question made out of concern rather than, you know, pressing, uh, who does the mayor have left to defend him now that you're gone and over here? There are several guards that remain in the city. They must stay to keep water. The militia is still spread so that they may protect farms during the harvest. Bandits shall not be too much of a concern, but we must be prepared for the smaller encampments. 
in the city okay. itself. They saw remains some of the militia, as well as that Suresh woman. I would suggest you do not trust her. She is devious. I'm just going to do a slow turn to Athos as he says that. Athos will kind of look away whistling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we, we got that vibe. Um... <laughs> So, what about the rest of the Crimson Tessum? Are they in Anatharius as well, or are they out hunting ghosts? Roughly half of their forces were already associated elsewhere. They have been working as a guard over by the mines. Um, I am unsure if you know of them, but there is a famous mine over in Fulgrave. It is highly profitable and they are providing services there. Some of their forces returned to the in place that you had indicated attempting to siege it as they needed. Mm -hmm. But I am unsure how things have progressed from there. The mayor handed off some unique magical items to Suresha in order to aid her efforts in defense something about relaying distant communications yeah we nearly took those I almost regret that we didn't well the choice is um, so realistically speaking um, Pike your forces have been routed um your, and I hate to call him an ally, and I hope he's not, the white rider has been killed. I would not call that all too regrettable. I certainly would hope not. He looked sketchy as heck. I don't know why you, you were working with him. It doesn't matter. He worked um, with the mayor for many years. He was an orphan it, taken in by the man. I mean, great still super evil by the way I just want to let you know that the man had a chip on his shoulder he sought revenge against both the people of this country and the ogres that destroyed his home so that's the type of thing I was talking to you uh, well Lushan was talking to you about before in regards to does the mayor have you know the best what's best in mind for the people sure he did a good thing but the, a person that he put into a position of power has a vendetta against the people of your country regardless of the nice things behind it that's the type of thing that questionable that is questionable about that leadership if that makes sense now, with that said, water under the bridge. I'm going to not release you per se, but let you go back into the camp with your men so that you will be able to get the men that we left trapped underneath. They have supplies, so regardless of how many days it takes for you to dig them out, they will be okay. They have water and food. If you left this entrance open, we should have no issue. I'm no, we're probably gonna. Th this one actually has a collapsible thing too. We're probably gonna collapse this one. Um, but with that said, now that you've been defeated, I'd like for you and your men to step aside and allow what is going to happen to happen. We will return to Anafarius. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, we will return to Anafarius and do all we can for the city. Everyone that came here was a member of the militia. They came by volunteer. There was no orders. That is not how we do things in this country. I asked any who would be willing to join me, and many did. 
Okay. We will return to Anafarius and we will try and maintain whatever semblance of order we can. Cool. My only request is that you just give it a couple days. We must tend to the wounded first. None should die in travel. Excellent. Fantastic. Then. Uh, plus, you're, based on what I've heard, your men may need a bit of a rest anyway. I do apologize for everything that has transpired. I, I understand apologize. that you were doing what you thought was best. But I hope you know that I and my allies were doing the same. Right. No ill will. And it's one of the reasons why none of us wanted to kill anybody. We tried to give you an out, but, you know, we understand. Mm. Very well. Oh, right, sound. Um, okay. Athos, Cattell. Anything you want to ask the uh, nice Drakon? Uh, uh, no, not particularly. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Very well. Should you ever return to Anafarius, I shall do my best to endeavor that my men will hold no grudge. Though I cannot you say much that. for the families of the fallen. Well. Alright. Well, in that case, um, if somebody wants to, like, undo Pike's, uh, feet bindings, we, we, you can walk on back, uh, as soon as we start to ride away. Um, question. Are you guys taking... Did you take his full plate off of him? Or no? I think we would have completely disarmed him, so he wouldn't have full plates or... His, his weapon, weapons. yeah, yeah. I, I'm asking specifically if you took if you took away it, he will ask for his full plate back. Not his weapon, oh. though. Oh, the full plate? Athos, do you have the full plate? Yeah. Do we bundle it up, like, in a backpack sort of situation for him, or...? Eh. I'd rather just give it to him now. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, yeah, here's your full plate. Thank you. It is an important relic of my home. Yeah, uh, by the way, we did, um, help you out with the home stuff, by the way, if you ever want to come back and visit. I'm sure my clan will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. For now, I wish you luck in your future endeavors. May they be less bloody than this. And then with that, he will walk away. All right. Well, um, time to bid farewell, I guess, to the all of Wushan's men. Do you guys have a place that you can go? Oh. Most of them explain to you that before they came to work for Wushan, it was very much a temporary deal. Uh, Ujin and Giggles were here simply under a favor. Um, Chua was here as a nomad herself. Uh, Jae Hoon reckons he may return to Wushan. She spared him from her fate, as he was an assassin sent after her. But she was spared in his failed attempt. Is that in the backstory thing you sent me? Yes, that is. Cool. Write <laughs> that as well then. <laughs> Alright, well, um,. Yes, most of them they were travelers of some sort, and they will return to their former lives. They'll band together for a time, simply to avoid any retaliation, but it seems unlikely. Okay. 
Well, I mean, it was a pleasure working with each and every one of you. I am sorry that we did lose one person, but I think we can all say that this was a successful operation. With We had, what, 10 people against 30? If that. And you lost two. You lost one, right? You lost a scout that never returned. Right, we did lose a scout. Yeah, well, skeleton crew. Um, uh, with that said, I just want to uh, thank all of you. Um, how many are left in total? Uh, in total, we have... Do you count the big cats or no? Uh, not counting the cats. People who okay. care about material things. <laughs> People who care about... All right. Uh, well, I mean, technically not to care about material things, but... Uh, uh, Jehu is... Uh, Jay. Jehui. I'm sorry, my apologies. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, I'm going to give each of them uh, ten gold. Um, because I know that this was a good setup for them, even if it was temporary, just to, you know, help them get to the next stage of their life. Um, the tango will be from those traps we placed around. After I pick it up for a dunk or something. <laughs> I don't know if we had time to go back and get him. Also, I'm so sorry. None of them were the most, not, none of the mercenaries ever were able to be here or make inside, so no one was going to fall for those traps. I feel so bad about <laughs> it. Okay. The glyph trap did some work, though. Oh my god. Uh, Daedron, uh specifically will also go ahead and reject it. He says that he is a cleric of the river. And that. Oh. You actually you, you purified what was sacred to him. Thanks for oh, that. He can return to Anafarius now and tend to the waters as the people demand. Cool. Most of us don't care for gold, but they will still take it. <laughs> um, you know for sure. Uh, I would offer. Chua and Giggles, like, if you all want to come, you're incredibly useful. Uh, alright. Uh, Ujin says that no. They, 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 he and Giggles have traveled the land far too much to settle down off another group, even if, um, Giggles seems to have an appreciation for Boulder. They, they, they seem to get along, but... Hmm. We, we, we've got all the traveling to do. We, we can't stick around others. It's not the feel of kind of lifestyle. You see something, mm. you gotta go for it. Stick it with a crew? Eh, it like, works for a time, but don't leave it high and dry. Uh -huh. And Cha says that, um, well, I need to return to Yandao. I'm sure Bay will be very excited to hear what we have learned today, and the results of whatever happens in Nefarious. Okay. Well, uh, if you, when you make it back to Yon Dao, uh, tell Bay um, that uh, the the three that she met uh, said hi. I most certainly will. Um, you have given me a spot of gold, but. I shall give you something in return. She goes ahead and she hands over a set of spiked chain. May Bunhan guide you forevermore. Thank you. Alrighty, that's that. Um, anyone who wants to that has spellcraft slash detect magic I may go ahead and detect magic on this random fucking thing alright Athos uh, you recognize that this isn't a magical weapon 
as you may normally determine it, but it is a must-work set of... It is a must-work spike chain. And you know that this is a weapon enchanted with a one-time use only spell. When wrapped around a creature that is restrained or otherwise bound, it will affect the targeted uh, restraints or spell with the knock spell. Uh, basically, it gives you a ability to undo a removal, uh, undo some sort of bondage with a plus 15 on a relevant strength check. Uh, da, 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 da. And we will just go ahead and put this in loot for you. It is called the Spike Chain of Broken Bonds. The until recharge involves a uh, 300 gold cost ritual. <laughs> okay. Well, I think uh, we were supposed to meet Lynn in Jekko once. That's indeed correct. We're done. So I think we start um, uh, riding off in the direction of Jekko. Alrighty. Only a here, single Ash. day. Yes. <laughs> you guys head off towards Jekko. And while the day's travels feel long, they are blessedly short compared to the waiting and the effort that you all spent going through what you had done. Their preparation and time spent on developing traps, many of which prove fruitful in the end. Today you proved yourselves victorious against an overwhelming force that you would certainly have fallen against were you not so prepared. You defended Wushan's fort, diverting forces away, and bested the greatest which City of Anifarius had to offer. Today, you claimed victory, and now you ride off to meet your ally, your friend. You do eventually reach Jekko. It takes its time, and you're set there for a few days, unknowing what is to come. Uh, can somebody please roll me 1d28? A d28? 1d28. Alrighty, right in the middle. Cool. Just, lucky number. Yeah, 13 is the lucky number. Alrighty. You wait around for a time. You know it will be several days before Lynn will return here. By the time your assault finished, hers should have begun. Now, the first three days will pass. Jekko will remain untouched. Each of you tense, but still unharmed. No monsters seem to come near this area. No animals, nothing. All that lives here is simple plants. The grass, ever growing. A few insects making sounds in the deep of the evening. But otherwise, this land is eerily quiet. The section of forest, uninhabited, 
by man or beast. Is there anything you would like to do while you wait? Or would you prefer to return to Anafarius? See what might have happened. I mean, if we're waiting a couple of days before doing that, I do kind of want to just look around to see if we can't find anything else in regards to what happened here. Because Wushan never told us anything. You, yeah, you never really got anything else out of Wushan. Alright. Well, if you are welcome to look around the area, uh, would you like? Would you guys like to compile any information you've had from the past? Lynn, you're welcome to butt in on this and go ahead and say whatever you have listed in your endless amounts of notes. Right. Uh, just so everyone can get on the level for the relevant amount of information you already do know. It's been a minute. Let me pull all the way. Yeah, this this was back in what session three? We're in session twenty one now. I have twenty two. Twenty two. There you go. I don't have any faith that people will remember what the fuck happened here. Other than it was weird. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to be right back. Yeah, I do not have the greatest notes. Here. That's what I drafted up, like, shortly after that. Mm -hmm. I haven't reread it, so it might be a mess, but that's in my notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's about what I remember. I forgot the sun part, though. Tian. Probably should have brought that up to Wushan. I don't think he would have appreciated that. Man, I don't care. This is a video. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not saying these words. <laughs> <laughs> it video is all about getting that information as necessary. I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm. All right, I return. Lynn just left. Oh, there you go. She isn't here anyway. It's fine. <laughs> I did get her to send us the notes, though. Yes, I did say that in campaign for her. Alrighty. Yes. Yeah, so you're able to search around the area in the times that have long passed. And that is what you can recall as you move through. Uh, if there is any relevant checks you would like to make, feel free to go ahead. Perception is the obvious one for looking around, but if there's anything else you'd like to do, please do let me know. Mm -hmm. Ears of the City doesn't quite work in this particular situation, does it? It really <laughs> doesn't. They would require us be, be required to be a city here. You could try it if you really wanted to, but you don't think you'd get anything. Nah. 
Ah, figured. I'll do perception. Oh, good. Alrighty. Is there anything you're looking for in particular? Um, not really. Anything that would give us a little bit more to this story. Um, we had a vision last time we were here. <sighs> All right, so I'd really just be looking for anything that would give us more information, any anything that's been buried, anything that's hidden, because there's almost nothing here, yeah? There's nothing but a small clearing in the middle of the forest and a simple shrine. And the shrine is old as heck. Definitely. It seems like the shrine has been here for a great deal of time longer than the remnants of this city. Uh, it's Taquan the Void Butterfly. Yes, indeed. Sorry, go. But as you search around, just trying to find whatever you can about this place, little really comes up. Though, at one point, something does catch your eye. Resting atop the ground, there is some bits of charcoal that you never noticed before. Burnt wood lying in a great pile scattered about in several locations. And by great pile, I mean it is in a number of areas rather than all piled up in one spot. Mm. Perhaps the remnants of a long destroyed building. Which you believe you can remember something about Ruh speaking of at one point in time. Who? Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Ruh. Oh, Ruh. What if Rose say about this? You think you remember hearing in passing about her be getting becoming wounded by a burning building? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes me worried for Lynn, but okay. Don't know what's going on with these creepy people. Uh, so that would be what the NVIDIA does across the first day. What Athos and Catel, is there anything you would be like you would like to do while you wait? Um, I believe I heard mention of a potion of Cat's Grace. Yes. Can I try to get the recipe for that? So long as you're willing to consume it, of course. Uh, sure, we'll give it to her. Yeah, I think that's going to do much better in her hands. Because I believe the uh, item that does that requires you to consume the potion itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if consumed by an alchemist, this liquid gives the knowledge of the potion's formula. Nice. Yes, so you can distill the potion and add it to your formula book. And basically just add the spell, the spell to your book permanently. Okay. And then I can always create more. Exactly. You can Thank make you. extracts whenever you want. And you can spend this extra time making potions if you really want to. Thank you, Katal. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, if Apple says something to do for the first day, then the next day comes about. 
And I will say, you have about a week of activity before anything meaningful happens. I'll just occupy myself with burying the bodies. If you brought the bodies with you, then you're very welcome to the show. <laughs> we brought the bodies with us. You guys did have access to horses and the ox that could carry bodies if needed. Nah, I would have left. Yeah. The caves count as underground, don't they? They are yes. underground. That is definitely correct. They just can't be and, physically buried. And we did bury the entrance, so. Yes, we did. That, 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 that was kind of counts, here. yeah. Otherwise, nah, nah, I'm fine. Alrighty. Uh, Cattell, is there anything you'd like to do in this week of downtime? You can use your own gold for creating potions as per magical reagents, because it's fine. There's no big deal. Mm -hmm. um, how much would Cat's Grace cost to create? Uh, if you would like to use it at its basic cast level, which means it lasts for three minutes, it would cost one hundred... Sorry. My... My... My bad. Uh, Cat's Grace at... Alchemist cast level. Sorry, I forget that Alchemist Investigator is level four casting. Uh, da, da, da. It is four hundred gold, so two hundred gold worth of materials. Gotcha. Okay, then I will spend that much and make one. Alrighty. Uh, and you have five more days you can do things with if you would like to. If I also want to make oh, a potion of bark skin. Yep, that's the same price there. That one lasts for 40 minutes, though, instead of four. Uh, so you have an additional four days if you'd like to be doing something else with that time. More potions or otherwise. Um, I feel like I'm okay for now. Alrighty. In video, you have another six days before anything else of worth happens, what would you like to do in that time? Hmm. You could investigate the area, keep an eye out, what have you. But you feel strangely like no harm will come to you while resting in this area. That's nice. Um, I do... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find out anything more based on perception than what I rolled before. Um, but I will keep an eye out for anything weird. Alrighty. Question. Would you like to try and cast Ears of the City in this area? There is no city. Just, just ask. I mean, I might as well. There's nothing stopping me. I don't have to worry about this. That's so good. Okay. We're gonna. This is either gonna be do nothing or be something mind blowing. Um, all right, eight years of the city. Alrighty. What question would you like to ask? What happened here? Alrighty. You cast the spell, and your mind projects into the land, trying to gather whatever information you can from the whispers of the town and in turn you feel something come over you something is wrong here there are voices speaking 
There are no people. Shit. Whispers of time long past. People should be here. People should remain here. People are still talking, yet there is nothing here. The whispers of souls that are passed on. Whispers of people that are talking to you, screaming in agony, screaming in pain, chatting casually one amongst one another. And each of them still says, nothing has happened here. This is but a memory. And as you begin to ponder what this means, what could be going on? You feel the side of your ear is wet. You reach your hand over and touch, bring it back to your face, and there is the drips of blood. Your ears are bleeding. Oh, shit. What shall you do? Um, are Athos or Cattell in eyesight? They are. Um, that's concerning that my ears are bleeding. Can I have them yell at me just to make sure I can still hear? Because I just got full force screamed at ethereally. First time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I met a god once, but this is creeping me the heck out. You call out to them and you cannot hear your own voice. Only the distant whispers and screams of pain that nobody seems to omit. I'm still hearing it. it. The spell's over. I'm still hearing it. At least for now. You must ask yourself, would you like to ask another question of the city? Would you like to end the spell? Oh, not particularly. This is too fun. Um, okay, another thing. I, I call out to Athos and can tell they cannot hear me. I'm going to wave in their general direction. Do they see me? You raise your arm. And it f you wave it. And you feel like no one, nothing can see you. The voices <laughs> around you are consumed by doubt and worry. The world does not know them. And soon, the world may not know you. What should okay. I do here? Would you like to ask a question of this city? Hmm. Let me check something real quick here. <laughs> Nvidia would know how this spell works. I need to figure out how this spell works. The answer is it shouldn't work like this. No, no, it shouldn't. But I'm going to... I'm getting into the mind of Nvidia right now. Um, okay, so this spell theoretically lasts for... Six rounds. All right, so 36 seconds. Um, I've asked a question. How long has it been? Is that what you would like to ask? No, I'm like I'm asking. Um, uh, like, oh, out of character. This is within character. the first I, I six question. seconds of you I'm asking second. your question. Okay, I'm gonna look at my hands, and before the next six seconds is up, I'm gonna see if they're becoming uh, ethereal, see-through. Am I losing sense of self as time progresses? You look at your hands, and they feel all too real. You see okay. your physical body, but. You don't know if it's diminishing or if your eyesight is turning as red as your skin. You look at yourself concerned, but not away from this realm. Not yet. Do I have any sense of how much I got before things hit the fan? You have no idea. Cool. Got it. All right. Um... I am super concerned for Lynn now. This is not right. Um, second, I'm asking a second question. This may not be good. Who is Wushan? 
Alrighty. Well then. That is a very interesting question that you have asked. She is but a maid. She's the destroyer of this place. She is the one who will end us all. She is the end of Jacko. She is the one who has fallen unconscious. She is the one who end the Lord. She will be the end of you. Okay, couple things. I hope you got all that. I that's I I was trying to get to get it all. Did she the first thing she is the maid M I M A I D M A M A I D yes as in like literally a maid a servant At some point they said she is the unconscious Yes that is also correct Okay sorry grammar important That's the one I missed so thank you <laughs> uh, did you them? I'm typing these in. If you just want to throw them down there, never mind. <laughs> I will only answer whether it is correct or incorrect. I will not give you the information of what you have, may or may not have missed. That's what I heard. That's what I got. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, how am I feeling? Out of character. You can see your eyes. Everything is red now. Is this like an out-of-body experience I'm having? You don't even know anymore. Your body <laughs> feels weightless. As if... All your worldly worries are passing by without even the slightest bit of concern. Can I still see... Um... Uh... Athos and Cattell. You look over and you can see a man. He is standing against himself. There's a lot of people around him. They look very similar. They all have scythes. They all have symbols. Though Athos is, you can tell it's him. You can see the bit of beard sticking out through his helmet. It looks, um, different somehow. Inverted to theirs. Very strange. You can tell, you can see she's carrying what looks to be some kind of box on her back. It looks very heavy. She's clearly being weighed down by it. Looks to be filled with some kind of rock. Valuable mineral, perhaps? I'm not sure. Everything Am seems fine. Am I in the metaphor dimension? Um, <sighs> do I ask another Would question? you like to ask another question? <laughs> Am I, are you the god of metaphors? Um, no, I will not ask that question. Do I ask another question? It is the actual question. To me, it has felt like 12 seconds. To you, it has felt an right. eternity, a lifetime of watching and waiting, of countless voices interjecting one another. Can I look around? You look around and you see a city. No, not a city. A village. This is a small place. A happy place. People wander the streets. Small markets keep themselves open. And... People talk. And you hear voices overlapping one another. Invading your mind and overwhelming you all but in an instant. Perhaps you could see more deeply if you were to take but another step forward. 
Perhaps if you were listening a, a bit closer. I was going to say, I don't want to take a step, but I... I... I do want to take a moment to listen. Would you like to ask another question? Is there a difference, or is that basically the same thing? That's basically the same thing, but you're welcome to take either option as you so choose. Hmm... What do you want? So that is a, I would like to ask another question. That is, I would like to ask another question. This is question number three. Alrighty. You cast your voice into the void. It happens again. The end is coming. The Lord will be taken over. He will be destroyed. We'll be free. We've waited for so long. The end is coming. Each of us is coming. will know Sorry. freedom. So long we've waited. He is nothing like his parents. He'll be the end of us. He'll be the end of this town. But perhaps he will grow. He will understand. You fool. He must be stopped before the end of all things. Now is the time. We should follow Ushan. We should listen to her voice. We should know what is to come. So, I have, you You want, Wuxian's going to end the Lord and be the end of us, but also this is something that you want. I am not asking a question. That is what was said. Okay. Hmm. You look around now. You can't see... What you recall is what may have once been your friends or allies. All you see now is the town before you. The people are not like before. They're miserable, pathetic. Everyone walks with a hump in the back, a weight upon their shoulders, one other binding their legs. Each is a trudge through the pitiful mud. They look on, depressed, beaten, defeated. These people have no hope. They have no future. They only have sadness and a quelled rage. You feel it too. That which binds you. That which weighs you down. You have no future. Would you like to ask another question? <gasps> um. Here's a question. Does anybody look familiar that I'm looking around? No. No one here looks like you know them. But they all feel like familiar faces. These are your friends. 
the people of the village. Fellow souls that live in service to the lord and lady of this land and their child. Now the child, for they have gone. You will serve him as you did them, as will everyone else here. This feels right. You feel content. Hmm. There was definitely something I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's a nagging at the back of your mind. There's so much more than all of this. But what? What could that be? What are you forgetting? How much deeper could you delve? How much more could you learn? You're an inquisitor. You remember that? Your job is to learn the unknown. Seek what is hidden from others. What could you possibly discover here? Um, can I still see myself? You look down. You don't see any weapons or armor. Just a simple hoe in hand. And a basket in the other. Your produce for this season's harvest. Do I still have my ring? Give me a perception check. You look over at your ring. It's still there. Your husband proposed to you not long ago. It was a glorious day, but... No. Something is wrong here. Your ring flickers in and out. It changes design. One from a simple metal from the nearby mines, and another foreign to you. You're not sure the gemstone, but... It looks lovely. And familiar in its own right, but so foreign in another. I'm going to reach for the that one. <laughs> you reach out to your hand and the ring as your heart stirs, your mind trembles. Can you give me a will save, please? Uh... Come on. Uh, I love how you have, have, a you have such a good have, bonus. Do I have a thing for this? Um, hold on. <laughs> I have so many things to reroll, but I don't think Will is any of those things. <laughs> um... Hmm. Okay. Okay. You reach out towards the ring, but you don't grasp it just yet. Do you think about your family and all the wonderful times you've had together? You're somewhat of an artist, you know? You pull out a sketch. For some reason, it's not as good as you remember. It seems blurred in some way. Something seems wrong here. It seems to blend the mixtures of... Well, I'm not sure. Human? Demon? Nothing of Anvacelia. Something all too wrong, but right at the same time. Can you give me a will save, please? Yeah. Please! <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> you have a good bonus. <laughs> Your good bonus carries you here. The first one. Oh my god, if you had a first bonus. Uh. Oh goodness. You stare at the picture and it looks all wrong. Everything is wrong. You look around and you see the bodies of people burning. Guards. Peasants. Children. Everyone is suffering. Everyone is dying, screaming out in some kind of unknown pain. The bodies are unwilling, but their minds are reeling, and so is yours. In but a moment, you come back to your senses, and you look on at this burning city before you. And you have but one final decision to make. Would you like to ask? Another question. <laughs> um, I have one question left. You or... may choose to ask another question if you would like to do so. All I see right now is a burning city, yeah? You see a burning city and burning people. Not of form, but of mind. You see nothing of your allies. Nothing of yourself, only this pain, this suffering. Okay. At this point, I do not have enough information, but I am not super excited about grabbing more. Things are bad, I have no idea how time works anymore, and Lynn's in danger. <laughs> I can remedy one of those things. I'm not going to ask another question. Um, can I end the spell? You may choose to not ask another question. Okay, well, I'm going to choose to not ask another question then. Alrighty. You snap to wakefulness. Catel and Athos are beside you. You wipe your mouth. Spittle covering its side, frothing. It seems you were in your sleep. You feel fine now, but you look upon the floor, you look at your hand, blood is everywhere. You don't know what just happened, but you now feel the pain, your body barely recovering from whatever it just endured. That did not feel like a good idea. Well, sometimes you have to do dangerous things to learn things. Um, okay. Yep. What time is it? How long have I been out? I'm asking this to Catel and Athos. Catel and Athos? It has been three days. Holy fucking shit. We couldn't do anything. You did your best to keep NVIDIA alive and well. You have no idea what was happening there, but she seemed to be losing her mind, collapsed on the ground and wandering about aimlessly through the ruins of this place. You have no idea what had just been going on, but feels sinister. Um, I feel not particularly, um, long time, I, like, a couple hours? Is your, uh, mic on? Oh, I had that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well... I'm echoing because yours is on. Oh, also. got it. Oh, I Sorry. had it through I didn't realize. Mics. It. <laughs> I didn't realize. Let oh, me. Good. Sorry. Oh, um. Okay, that's not ideal. Um. Oh. 
Okay, well, I may have accidentally learned a little bit more about this place, and it's uh, a little bit worse, I think, than we thought. I think Wuxian's a lot more dangerous than we thought. And I'm a little bit worried about Lin right now. How many days has it been since she should have been back? Uh, based purely on travel time, she should not have arrived just yet. She is not late, but she is not early either. I think we need to go to Anatharius. Um, okay. Um, now, NVIDIA, you feel unnaturally tired right now as if your body had experienced a pressure far too great for you to move any time today it was only the middle of the day but you feel as if you had walked and fought for a lifetime is this what exhaustion feels like it does indeed (laughs) Okay, I can't get up. Um, do we still have a cart? You do. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, do you? Sorry, I, f- I think you dropped off all the weapons and left the cart with them, and they took that with them. You have the oxen you could ride on the back of, but that's still a little bit of effort. Um, yeah, I know we, we took my horse that has all my stuff on it, but copy that. Uh, you could simply rest until the next day and you would be fine from there. That's up to you. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think at this point we may need to start going regardless of how I feel. If I need to rest, I can rest as we get there. But I think we at least need to see that the city's okay first before I'll be sure that Lin's okay. I also would like to get my ring back. (laughs) Also, there's a ring that we buried somewhere. You have a map marked on the map. But I feel like whatever magic Wuxian has is something much older and much darker than we anticipated. You know what, NVIDIA? Give me a spellcraft or knowledge arcana check. Monster lore, I will let apply here if need be. Alright. You think back upon what you've seen. It's still heavy in your heart, heavy in your mind, and crushing your body with its physical force. But you don't think in the sense that Wushan is responsible to what has happened here. You know she's associate. You know it's something to do with her. Well, you don't right. think it you know, is responsible her. Tribi. Huh? You don't think it is her necessarily. Yeah, but she may be doing something that is leading towards it unknowingly. She very well may. You don't know what it could be, but something weighs heavy upon you here. And it is. And it's like I should go make sure Wushan's not crazy. It is an option. Okay. You've only seen one town of her influence thus far in Yandao. Nothing like what has happened here. Perhaps she has perfected whatever she had done, or mastered in some sense. But 
something is wrong. Whether you wish to move and act upon it is your own decision. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I feel like we should start to move as quickly as we can. Um, if I literally can't, then sleep it off and then go, but... It is up to the Because I do have a strength of like one to... right now. Yes. <laughs> if the party would like to move you, that is their option. Uh, otherwise, you will just be kind of <laughs> just dragged along on the back of an ox. I have a strength of one. I can't hold myself up. Yes. So the party wants to rest there for the day and then move on once you're no longer exhausted. Party, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, I feel like you shouldn't push yourself. Athos? Reference, uh, lesser restoration only cures fatigued, not exhausted. <laughs> just, just as an everybody reference. Also, Nick, if you're there, we cannot hear you. Alright, cool. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. we can hear you again. Oh, it was doing so well, so... Uh, but yeah, we, we, we got uh, lucky. Um, yeah, I'll just, uh, just do the usual poking, making sure there's nothing permanently wrong with her. NVIDIA seems physically fine, though you can't tell anything about spiritually okay. Oh, Probably better than me, so that's great. Yeah, that seems like this kind of crazed look, not in her eye, but behind it. As if something there is wounded irreparably. Do I get this feeling as well? No, you have no idea. Okay, I'm fine. Athos, could you please give me a spellcraft check? You don't know why, but with your religious training, your focus upon the divine, you look past all that NVIDIA can show and all that she can see herself. And what you witness is damage done to a time long past. A wound opened up, unrelated to everything that you have witnessed. Something older than that. And you don't know what that means, but it's what you feel. Okay. I hope you enjoy my vague bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly did. Ah, uh, that's good. Someone needs to. That's what Athos sees. What, what was that? That's that's all that Athos saw. So what would you like to do for the evening, my good sir? Would you like to vote if with exhausted, and If we're not going and I'm exhausted, I can't... No movement is possible. 
Um, I am going, if we're going to rest, I do want to grab my ring, which I assume is still there. Yes, it is still there. Physical things are still there. Great. And then I do want to try to reach out and pray to paradise. You reach out. Grab your ring and utter a prayer. And a calm befalls you. And soon, sleep swiftly claims you. That evening, you dream of distant things, of peace and wonder of paradise, of all the good and wonder that can be presented there. But somehow you feel a lingering threat, some kind of deep, burning sensation that feels all too familiar in your mind. Perhaps reminiscent of your heritage or the fate of your soul. But when morning comes, you awaken unharmed, fine, and Despite the blood loss, accepting of what has happened. All right. You're no longer exhausted. Um, for reference. <laughs> I can move again. Um, all right. If possible, I think we should... Uh, Try heading to Anatharius then. Okay. Nick, you also happy to uh, move on to Anatharius? Mm hmm. Oh, good. Alright, if everybody is happy to move on out and head back that way, who feels like rolling me a D100? Alrighty, exactly middle of the road. It's what I do. No, it's not. That's the problem. You only roll ones or thirties. <laughs> <laughs> that that is true. <laughs> However, it's positive fifty, which is an interesting matter. Who else would like to roll me a D one hundred? Ninety-four. All right. Thank you, my good sir. Nice. Alright, you begin your exit from Jekko. This place is troubling. This place is disturbing. You need nothing to do with it anymore. And video, you strive forward. Your body may have been worn the last night, but your mind remains stalwart now, and your body follows suit. You begin your exit and move away from this cursed place. Anaphilus, with some clarity of mind, you lead the group. Your mount may be the slowest of the bunch, but it carries you well, as well as any who would follow behind. But in the distance, you see something. A woman. And a tiger. And you think you can spot... That's Lynn, yes. You're only a half a day's walk from Jekko now. And she's here.
Perhaps your worries were unfounded. The sheer amount of paranoia that NVIDIA has right now. Uh, what shall you do? seem to be approaching you. We can, we can call out to her and hope that I'm just being paranoid. That is an option. They're a distance away now. Would you like to call out? Or would you like to bide your time? Who knows what the result could be. Probably just Lynn, but Athos could tell. Should we should we call out? I'm just very paranoid right now. So I won't um, say. I mean, is there a reason to believe it's not her? I just spent three days in what felt like an eternity. It would also felt like potentially thirty six seconds seeing hallucinations i have no idea what's real anymore this feels real but that also makes me feel like seeing lynn maybe something i don't know well how can we know if we're real right now that's an excellent question <laughs> so let's not dwell on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 call out <laughs> lynn is that you Brace yourself, I think Balder is about to tackle you. <laughs> In video, you're unprepared for a tiger charging at you. Full force. I'm, Your face I'm is licked that. with okay, unrepentant <laughs> power. <laughs> you feel overwhelmed by love. I don't know how to feel about the situation at hand. Sorry, sense motive. You sense motive. You sense nothing but good feels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm paranoid right now. Okay, that's good. I think it's Lynn. I say from underneath Balder. Yeah, Balder's gonna basically eat your face. He's missed you. Oh, I mean, I missed both of you. Um... <laughs> Are you okay? Um, yeah, things back at Anatharia seemed fine. Um, Wushan is really strong. I <sighs> probably would have died if not for her, honestly. Um, she kind of saved my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did... It did anything happen when Wushan took power? Also, did you kill Sarasha? That's important to me, too. Um, about her. Um, she was waiting for us, and we spoke, and it seemed like the best way to get out of there with everybody fairly okay was to kind of imply that it was her idea. So she is going to take whatever power she wants in the city and just say that she was supporting the mayor, but she had her doubts. So she hired us and had us investigate. And then we figured out that the mayor kind of sucks. So we went back to her and she was like, okay, mayor's out of here and supported Wushan. And so that way she gets her reputation. I don't die. Wushan doesn't die. You guys clearly didn't die and thank God for that. Um, but yeah, so she's kind of taking credit for stuff, but we also got out of it okay, so I really hope that's okay with you guys. 
follow-up question as she's telling me this. Did anything in that vision remind me of Suresha? Give me a sense motive check. Or a raw int check. Take your pick. I mean, I'm obviously going to take sense motive with, like, hands down. Well, obviously. Int check is lower DC for obvious reasons, but... Okay. It's a relative point. Anyway. No, nothing reminds you of Suresha. Nothing at all. No deceit of that kind of sort. Nothing. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Um, it was just more as a secondary point. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad Baldur's okay. Yeah, me too. I'm really glad you guys are okay. I went back to the fort and everything, and I didn't see you, but I didn't really want to go in the tunnels, because, I mean, that could be really risky. But... I just kind of followed you guys here. I thought I smelled all of you, and I hoped you were all doing okay. How did things go on your side? Just going to look at Athos and Katal. They're fully recovered by now. Great. Well, it was good. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad you guys are okay. Um, The, the mayor's gone. I don't know exactly what's going to happen to him, but Lushan just sent him out into the forest like she said she would, and then she just kind of said that she would clean things up a little bit and then go wherever. I don't know. I didn't ask too many questions. I was just kind of baffled that I made it out of there alive, honestly. Kind of just look directly in her eyes and say, did anything happen with Wushan? Did she say where she was going? Did you notice anything? We did this, like, two and a half weeks ago, so let me look back through my notes just to double check. Because, <laughs> like, the session it's, that I, I left detail. to go see Wushan, or, yeah, the session I left, the next day we had our own little private session, and oh, yeah. you asked me earlier, I was just kind of like, yes, yeah, so are we going to focus on you today? And I was like, um, I'm just going to casually dodge this question. <laughs> uh, I, I will upload the, uh, the, the lost session <laughs> for everybody if they want to feel it. Like, it's one thing to have me watching you guys, but then another thing to have three people watching me do my thing. It, it, it's so. a bit of a difference of, I'm not making everyone pay for fucking five bucks for a session where we just watch Lynn do shit. Uh, the alternative is obviously, we do half a session her, half a session you guys, jumping between the two. It's like, it, it's awkward in that situation. I, it just cuts into the time that we have. I feel like it's best to do it this way. This was rough for me because this entire campaign, I've been sitting here just like, go to Checo, go to Checo, go to Checo, go to Checo. <laughs> Stop procrastinating, go to Checo. Stop doing shit, go to Checo. How do we back up for you guys? You don't understand was... how much pain she was when you were talking about leaving the day before. Oh my god, I was spamming him. I just got like, don't let them do it, don't let them do it. <laughs> like, Katal suggested staying and resting, and I was like, good, that's a good choice. GG, Katal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was... I know, NVIDIA is half crazy right now, so... Oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's totally making it. reasonable decisions. That's not the problem here. But yeah, anyway, as far as Wushan goes, I mean, like, she was gone. We, like, stayed and... It felt safe, so I stayed there, because I was like, if I'm gonna go back to the fort and maybe help you guys out, I don't want to be exhausted. And But she was gone, so I just thanked Ro. Um, she gave me something, but I don't remember what the loot was, but I'm not going to tell them all of the loot that I got, because some of it's secret. But she gave me some loot, and I'll tell you what it is later when I scroll up and find it. But otherwise, I mean, I just, I wanted to find you guys. Um, did, wh what happened at the fort? I mean, did everything work out okay? Did, did the Commandant come back for you? Did the Oh, the Commandant. I thought you said the Commandant, and I was like... <laughs> uh, the Commodore! New character, what? Um, no, uh... It was, it was fine, it was fine. Um, did Ro say anything? Did you talk to Ro at all? I'm scrolling up, don't mind me. It's okay, NVIDIA's got crazy eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> NVIDIA has, like, the marks of blood upon her ears and her 
eyes. It's dried now for certain, but you can see the marks of it there. It's more concerning than disturbing, but... Yeah, she didn't really tell me anything important. She just gave me uh, that revolver that Wushan was kind of sharing with us before. But more importantly, um, are you okay, NVIDIA? You look distressed in a way that I haven't seen you distressed before. Uh, and Lynn will also look at the ring around her neck just to make sure it's still there because she does remember the mission that NVIDIA set her out on before they split up. It's there, I'm pretty sure. We've, we, yeah, we said that it's yeah. still there. Um, Actually, here's a question of something I would have done before. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, that, that, I can ask that, that character later. Um, I never, I got a, a feeling that Ro may have known Wushan from before. Did I ever get that same feeling from Peon? I'm assuming that's a meta question. Uh kind of also like from the whole thing that happened i mean i did talk to them a little bit and they knew her before they're the ones who have been with her the longest and i know that like ro was she didn't really want to talk about this too much so i didn't really Pry, but she did open up to me about Jekka oh, and how. What did she say? <laughs> Let me skip through my notes. You just interrupted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is most of the fight. Oh, that was not a fun fight. It was a fun fight, but I would have been royally screwed if not for her. <laughs> Scrolling up. Basically, what I remember from my notes, and of course, DM, you can correct me if I screw something up, but they knew each other here at Jekko, and something bad happened to the city. She didn't really tell me what. Ro talked about how there was a burning building and she ran inside to save people, and burned herself obviously that's why she has so many scorch marks on her and that's kind of how she gained her power and i know that peon was there as well i don't remember what he was there for but i think that was the city that wushan said she kind of came from in a sense there was a lot of bad stuff happening there and they did some Things to make sure that she wasn't an Oni. And they did it to a lot of other people. I think including Peon, which is why he's missing a tail. I think he's the person who's missing one. That is correct. And yeah. Wushan was at danger of becoming an Oni? Not becoming one. They just... I don't remember exactly how she phrased it. It was just like they were making sure nobody was. Because there was a lot of fear and i don't know if that was because of the lord there or what it was but there was a lot of fear and so he was basically just ripping out her teeth and cutting off people's tails just to make sure that they're not an oni even if they didn't really display any signs that they might be and like she was fine they healed her with magic and everything was fine she wasn't an oni it just he was really paranoid and i think that she probably felt in some ways smothered by that and so she just tried to kind of fix it and rise against it so that other people wouldn't have to go through the torture that she did just for existing and have the possibility of being an Oni. And so they were just kind of like, no, this is a thing that you could maybe be in. It's a possible threat, so we're going to protect against it, even if it means torturing you. And she didn't like that. 
So she just rebelled against that, and I don't know exactly what happened to Jekko, but I think that's where she really felt the need to start protecting herself and making sure that people's rights are respected. I don't... But something happened there. Something terrible. It's... It's something that I think that goes beyond what we know and what we can fathom, and I don't even think Wushan knows. But I think something is happening with her that she could be unintentionally leading to something terrible happening in the future. Uh, NVIDIA, if you would like, you can roll me a sense motive check against Lynn. Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously. Please go ahead. Always. As she says all of this, it seems like Lynn is speaking her truth. Just, you don't feel any lies amongst what she has said. She is being as honest as she can with you. You don't know whether or not, after all you've seen, it is the whole truth. But it is her truth. I might have screwed up some minor details because I didn't reread my notes. You're, you're but... fine. Don't worry about it. You got most of everything correct. <laughs> it, it's, it's nothing worth pointing I, out. The vibe that I got is that she's telling me the truth, but there's something missing there. There's not something missing from what she said versus what you know, more as... There's something wrong, potentially, with what you know and what she has said. Which I know feels the opposite of what I just said, but yes. No, I know what you mean. So she does not have the information. Lynn certainly knows nothing about whatever has just happened. Yeah. But you know, you can feel in the memory of all that you experienced, after what Lynn has said, it. the pain of the false accusations, the suffering of Pian, his tail severed, Rushan's teeth plucked out one by one, a dracon's scales picked individually from its skin, each of them to prove that they had loyalty to the Lord and not that they were an Oni. There was no deceit. Not then. There was nothing but suffering. Oh yeah, that I believe. But there's something, something else there, yeah? Perhaps. Perhaps there is. Oh, Sean, supposedly has left Anathias already. She's left people behind temporarily. But that will not last long. They will soon abandon this place like she has. Their work already done. Should you wish to do anything more, you would have to track her down. Ask her questions yourself. And as you look over at Lynn, you know that she has saved her life. You know that she feels that is a truth. That is undeniable. Rushan has saved your friend. And whether or not you wish to pursue all that is left unknown is up to you and the Inquisition itself. Yeah. Okay. Also, it is like 10 o'clock here. I, I think we went it a little bit late. over. Yes, we, we, we are currently over time, but I was like this wrong for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. Probably would have quietly murdered me if he hadn't brought me back to the party tonight.
Um, I was going to say, it sounds like you're hitting your button a lot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything to say. I'm like, I'm oh, just no, I don't blame you at all. Do not worry. You can tell her, Atlas, feel free to take it from me. Nvidia stares on in genuine shock and surprise. Still recovering from the night before, quite obviously. Staring into the middle distance. I would like to stare at her in concern and then immediately take a couple of steps forward and just like very slowly reach out to kind of like rub her shoulder and make sure she doesn't flinch away. Just looking like comforting, like, I'm real, I exist, everything's okay. Okay. Um, she'll, she'll jump, she'll flinch, but not like in a flinch away sort of thing. Just you know, shocked out of ruminating over what she saw earlier more than anything. Look how, like, take half a step back to make sure she's not infringing in video space. <laughs> uh, she'll, she'll, she'll reach out and um, uh, patch her head. Um, I'm sorry, I'm... Yeah, I'm kind of that short, actually. I'm like five foot two, <laughs> I think. Yes, yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little tiny. You can pat my head. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, what's real, or what happened in Jekko, but something did, and it's been sticking with me, so I'm sorry if I'm uh, a little um, out of it. I understand. Um, I hope you know that I am here for you, and I use the you more than I might support anyone else that I was recently fighting alongside. I just kind of glance back in the direction of Anatharius. Um, I trust your judgment, and if you think that there's something more going on here, then you know, I'll support you. And I'll go with you wherever that goes. If, if you'll have me, of course. Um, and and Balder, too. Obviously. Um, Feel like you're a package deal. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if you want to try to figure out what's going on with her, I... I mean, honestly, having fought alongside her, I would not want to get on her bad side. Not yet, at least. I mean, if you think that there's something else, she's... I basically watched her slaughter a bunch of people in front of me, and she didn't seem super happy about it, but I feel like if we pissed her off, then she could get rid of us pretty quickly, and so I'd rather not fall into that sort of situation. Um... But if you want to investigate her, then I'll be happy to help out if you want to, if all of you want to kind of get out of this place. And you can tell I know that, well, both of you really wanted to go to the Spire, and I, I don't know, if you, whatever you guys want to do, I just, if you want company, I won't, I won't mind being there. Lynn asks, Ovo, would you let me please come along? Lynn is an awkward child, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having more people around. Even if their tigers might be a little rabid? Yeah, that's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) <laughs> I think what we do next I mean I have some concerns but I think uh, there's a lot of things that we can get done as a group and that may be something we may want to think about uh, before taking the next step 
as much as I want to pursue whatever it is I saw. And I do trust your judgment about Wushan. My fears are more about something going on that Wushan's not aware of and that may be a part of her that she does not understand. Why not she definitely shut down when we talked about Jekko before? So it's not something she really embraces and I don't know I felt like she kind of let me in a little bit so she did tell me a lot of things that she may not have told you but ultimately it is a stressful place for her and I, I don't know I don't know if it's just because it's where she came from or obviously there's a lot more going on there because the first time that we got there like the shrine and everything that was just kind of strange but I don't know. Sorry, our cat was being cute. Um, <laughs> A very fair excuse. Um, I, I think we may have a second to take a break. I, I need to hear about everything that she told you. Do you want to find... Okay, it looks like you haven't slept in like a year, so I don't know if Jekka was the right place for us to meet up, but maybe we could, you know, find a safe place to camp and I can kind of go over everything and then just kind of based off of that, we can figure out where we want to go next. Yeah, I, that sounds like a good plan to me. Um, you guys know the nearest town beyond um, Anafaris is probably Fulgrave. Which is a inn which is famous for taking in adventurers before they head off into a grand gold rush in the nearby mines. Known as the Glittering Depths. I mean, that's like a number of days to get over there, yeah? It'd be about a week to travel there. Whether or not you would prefer just simply camp out in the evening and discuss things there is up to you. But that is the first inn that is close by that is not in a forest itself. Yeah. Um, maybe we just camp out and decide what we want to do. Okay. Uh, just for reference, it is the closest town before you reach um, any of the towns associated with the Great Spire itself. Right. Going in that direction, yeah? Yes, to the southwest is the accurate description. Yep, yep. Yeah, so let's probably find a safe place to camp tonight and then catch up gives you guys time to watch the other video if you want to watch what I actually think <laughs> that's what I was thinking really just awkward it's so bad um, maybe we can kind of decide on what the next step is for the party yeah and then there was also stuff that I did um, just one on one not actually recorded it might have just been over DMs honestly oh, but right. I can share like the information that Lynn has on Lushan and stuff cool yeah I'll take anything I can get. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, are we planning on having another game on Monday? I am open to it. I have no issues on the basis that everybody else is okay with it. I just remembered I do have a meeting Monday night, but it may just be a thing where I leave a little... Well, no, not a little early, a lot early. Never mind. Leaving early sounds like it's only going to be beneficial to the session, but <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, if you guys want to decide on what, like, next steps are for, like, whatnot, that'd be fine. Um, I do have, yeah, I basically have a, a dinner that's supposed to go from 7.30 to 8.30, and I'll have to leave a little bit early because it's going to be in San Jose. Yeah, um, okay. It's a business business thing. I would say we could maybe plan for the 10th. Yeah. So, I think just as, like, me personally, what I've kind of been expecting is that we're going to head to the Spire next. 
Yes. So the okay. general plan as it is, is anything that people want to resolve in the middle of these sessions, slash post these sessions, you're welcome to. Um... And beyond that, it is literally just down to here is what has happened. Would you like to discuss things further? I can give relevant information. We can move on from there. Uh, slash post campaign one session. Um, this is how things resolve and how people get to their destination and what they see upon their journey, etc., etc. And then expanding on that based upon what we get to and how people want things to resolve. Or we'll see if we time and then we decide, oh wait, we want to go back to Anafarius and figure out what the hell we're doing instead of just chilling out in Jekko or abandoning this country. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, so I'll compile the stuff that I have and then um, I'm fine with skipping Monday just since you have your meeting and then that'll kind of give me time to actually go through my notes with the holiday and everything cool so i can kind of let you guys know um what was shared privately yes yeah sounds good <laughs> well also, like i was saying literally last week uh we we did the not last week the week before we did a private session just like this is everything that happens here enjoy congratulations <laughs> Yeah, before you guys even started with your stuff at the fort, like, the session before that when we split up and everything, the next day we had ours and I went off and did our stuff. And so I was just, like, kind of sitting during those sessions, like, I'm really excited when we get back together so I can tell you what happened. Because you don't know that I've even done mine yet. Do you know how hard it was for her to hold on to this secret for two whole weeks? Oh, my God. I was harassing him so much. <laughs> like, this entire campaign. Like, all day today. She felt all. so guilty when you asked, by the way, Mike. It was like... I so we're going to do your stuff like that? She's like, huh, please help. Yeah, that's why, like, I just, like, yeah. I honestly uh, was debating messaging you and being like, hey, like, it kind of sucks that Lynn hasn't done anything. Like, it's been, what, like, three, two, three effective weeks. weeks? Yeah. And we took a week off. Like, it, you know, that kind of sucks. Like, yeah, if you want to do, like, a thing. session where we're, like, listening again, that's fine. <laughs> Literally the next day is when it happened. <laughs> yeah, like I was so excited. I could barely sleep. I tried to do it that same night, I'm pretty sure. Cause I you was did! And he was like, no, you need to sleep. Be a rational human being. You needed to eat food. Yeah, that's a, that's a big part of living. You say that, but she denies it every opportunity. Not deliberately. It's just I have better things to do. Like C and D. <laughs> <laughs> see, see what I mean. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'll share what I have. Yes. That limited chair. Whatever she feels is most relevant as the party begins their travel slash uh, camping for the evening while uh, Nvidia proceeds to not look like death itself. Yeah, that's important. Uh, if there's any qualifying questions involved that, that we can resolve really quickly, I'm happy to go for them. Otherwise, I think we'll call the session there for the evening because it's already an hour over normal time plus half an hour over when we would normally start. <laughs> Bro, we yeah, we need to probably get going to sleep over here. I'm very fair. Cool, cool. Um, sweet. Let's, uh, I don't have any questions. I will have questions, but... Oh, I, have I hope Jekker made you ask so many questions of yourself. I wanted to ask more, but it sounded like I would probably die, so... Congratulations, uh, no. you indeed did dodge both negative levels, because I made a secret fault save on your behalf, and you rolled really oh, thank well. thank you. You're, you're oh, welcome. Yeah. I would hate negative levels, because that would suck. It does, because that's a restoration to get rid of, and it's garbage. Indeed. Yeah. I was going to say, Athos, you want to pick up restoration for me? I can't yet. <laughs> hey, guess what? Congratulations, the fort has been solved. 
the siege has been resolved, which means the end of the campaign has come, and we officially hit level seven. Yay! Yeah, I can get that restoration for you. It's where let's bless you up forever. Yeah. It's oh, I'm not blessing with fervor, please. Oh wait, blessing of fervor? Oh, nice. You said oh, you get restoration too. Fucking nice. <laughs> yep. Nice. Learn bread haste, yay. Yeah, you get AOE like haste now. <laughs> oh, that's right. And did you know? Fun fact: at this point in the campaign, Lin at level the rest of the party. <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. I was. I was sitting like on the map, like, and everyone was talking about how Catal had so much HP, and I was like, I really hope that they don't notice that mine went up a lot because <laughs> oh, I had already gotten up to level seven. So I'm just like, little person, there for dark vision, so I can see what's going on. Can <laughs> Lin be sitting there like Teehee? Yeah, I, I met Balder. I mean, he's probably up at like fifty something now, but I have forty HP. Nice. I mean, what is? <laughs> Tell her, you 46, 46 at level 6. She's rolled really yeah. high every opportunity. Mine have been so bad. I was in the 20s. Hey, in like your know defense, one five. of them you rolled a 4 and then you took my bet I, on a roll and you got a 2 I instead. Know. I know. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I mean, since we're here, I am yes, going to roll, we can um, roll just Go to ahead. do it. Oh, taking Would it, sitting there. <laughs> Athos, would you like to re-roll? No. Oh, come on! I know better. Ah, uh, you fool. <laughs> Good night. Um, I'll post the stuff that I have about Wushan, and then, yeah. Yes. I will time. upload that to the YouTube um, soon enough on the basis that I have a download. I'm pretty sure I have downloaded. It was clumsy and awkward, so... Uh, yeah, there was a lot of shit posting that we did before and after the session, so you know. <laughs> I'm over there just kind of like, Wushan hands me a gun, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'll shoot it in the corner and distract people, and that was really stupid. I know how to play the game. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry, I still stand by, I thought that was a great joke. Wushan has a fucking gun. <laughs> well, okay, I rolled, what was it, a 91 <laughs> on my first attack roll with I that mean, gun? I yes. do not like guns in my fantasy. <laughs> yeah, you made that exact point. You don't like guns in your fantasy. It ruins the immersion. <laughs> I love instantly. guns in fantasy. I like my bows. I don't know, guns are guns. One of my favorite characters that I have made, and I did ask about this, but you told me no revolvers, was... I have a kobold gunslinger that's just the best. His name yes. is Typhon, he has a Texan accent. <laughs> and then the answer is no revolvers except for gunslingers from um, Halveski. Because they're the only nation that has advanced fire realms in existence. And oh. even then they're rare. That's why Rushan has one, but literally nobody else does. <laughs> Everyone else so has fire realms. Him. I could make a kobold gunslinger from Halveski. You could. Actually, well, maybe not kobold. Goblin gunslinger, yes. Yeah. Kobolds are, like, very rare on this in this continent slash country. Mm hmm Kobolds aren't the ingenious inventors. They can get access to early firearms, but not advanced firearms. Alvesky just is a is a nation that supports the advancement of technology as a general concept, which is what in naturally gives advantage to anyone who wants to invent things there. But congratulations, we'll get to more of Halvesky's law as we advance into campaign one, part two, and as well as Cattell's law. Now that it will. Finally be relevant after literal months in game and then travel. <laughs> I mean you could just like list it like uh, Final Fantasy does all of its expansions, just name and then anything in between the major campaigns, just patch two, patch yeah, three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anything that's just in between them, like yeah, this is the part of the patch two like lore dump that we got so we could get ready for the next campaign. Exactly. 
Oh man, so like I've been looking to do an MMO recently, and uh, oh dog, bro, join, join me on Final Fantasy fourteen. I've been I to so to do want it. to, but Final Fantasy fourteen is expensive, so I've just started up in Neverwinter for the time being. Yeah, Neverwinter seems alright. It seems like pretty basic, but it seems alright. You know? Yeah. I, I want to start FF, uh, FF14 because I like Final Fantasy, but so few of my friends like Final Fantasy because they have never played any of the Final Fantasy games. It's it's so great. It's it so really good. Is. Level six level was it level sixty free trial. Yeah, free trial goes all the way up to level sixty. Yeah. I think it includes Heaven Heaven's Ward. Oh really? I didn't even know. Yeah. That. Yeah, the base game is now a Realm Reborn plus Heaven's Ward and all the patches in between, and you go all the way to level 60, and you get all of the classes that came with Heaven's Ward, so like uh, oh, Machinist cool. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you can buy Shadow Springer, Shadowbringers, which also includes the Stormblood. I was going to say, spell. what does Endwalker's level cap go up to? It goes to 90. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought it was around that much, because like level yeah. 80 was the previous... Yeah, because every expansion increases it by 10, so uh, Heaven's yeah, Word it, it's increases wow, it to 60. Yeah, it's not, not, not like logic. Yeah. Uh, there is a running thing that for the next expansion, they wanted to only raise it to 99 to kind of give tribute to the previous Final Fantasy games. Yeah, that makes sense. That's that's a good meme. And then at the like the very final boss fight, in the middle of it, you go up to 100. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be a great NPC meme. Yeah, because, like, the last I remember of FF14 that I paid attention to was when the Nier Automata expansion came out. Oh, yeah, that was a that was a thing. Yeah, that was that was yeah. really cool that one was done. Anyway, um, that's the session for this week, guys. Uh, oh, sorry, last thing. Cattell, please roll me a D8. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Cass. Or, Cass, uh -huh. would you like to re-roll the D8 and have me roll for you? Uh, you can re-roll for me. Alrighty. You're a tanky investigator. <laughs> Alright, goddamn it, it continues to play out well for you. Woo! <laughs> Above average again. What's your con bonus? Is it plus one? Uh... Uh... Yes. All right. Cattell like, continues to leave the party at 52 max HP. Oh, uh, don't forget, nice. everybody, uh, that we're doing leveling. So I think we get a plus two in a physical, physical stat of your choice. Yes. I put it in a con. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to continue being a glass cannon. Are you sure you don't want the extra strength, Athos? That doesn't bring me L to 20. Fair enough. Yeah, so everyone gets a plus two and a physical stat of their choice as they hit level seven. So strength, dex, or con, take your pick. We already know I'm picking dex. Well, yeah, that's your main stat. Come on. But will Cattell picks con or dex to... Uh, <laughs> so she can maintain the highest HP in the party. <laughs> More than Balder now. If you take that, you will have 59 HP. <laughs> At the minimum. Mm. If you put the fame in class, you'll have exactly 60 HP. You could be the tankiest member of the party, by so far... Oh, that's right. Obviously, my AC would go up with that, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, based on max dex of armor, of course. Do you wear some level? I don't even remember. Uh, no, we remember we got the, uh, oh, what was it? You were, you and I talked about this. Mithril the, Chain uh, Shirt? The, the, yeah, the Mithril Chain Shirt. Yeah, plus, one. plus six max dex, that's right. And, of course, level 7 is also a feat of everybody's choice. Do I hold off a time? Going, 
Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. I can hold off until this until next session, or I can do it this session. This is up to everybody involved. And it will also be involving for Campaign 2, which I don't think anyone's watching from that. But still, there are associated yearly Christmas presents. I can hold off until next se next session if we so desire, but it's a good bit of fun, you know? Or we can do it now. Up to you guys. I'd say probably next session. Alright, because it's already, uh, this session's been going for four and a half hours and we start half an hour late. <laughs> 11.30. Yeah, exactly. You guys are almost ready for fireworks, you know? I mean, I'm ready for fireworks, but you guys wouldn't be. Because America. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I need it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Today's my sister's birthday. I have 30 minutes left to text her. I need to do that. Goddamn Christmas babies, honestly. Hey. Oh, when, when's your birthday, Mike? The 28th. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday for yesterday. Sorry, two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> Don't worry, Lynn has a present lined up. Oh, thank you. I do? You do? Oh, I, I kind of do. You kind of do? Well, I don't know if everybody else is going to like it, but... Oh, it's a present. Oh, that present. I think you were talking about the other present. Yeah. <laughs> the present. You'll get there. Oh, eventually. Alrighty. Well, now that the session is done, now that everyone can begin the majesty of leveling up, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed Campaign 1 as we have resolved it. The end has come and, and Lynn will give the answers as the end has come by. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hope you all thoroughly enjoyed yourselves and i look forward to future campaigns of you all you've all been really great and i really do appreciate how engaged everyone has been with what has gone on um i want you to know that this is really is like the start of a dream for me and you guys have all helped make this possible so thank you awesome. so very Bernard. much Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you all so much for joining me for the start of this journey. Right. Yay! Yay! Good job, everybody. Yay! <laughs> we didn't die. Yeah! <laughs> You survived the plus 15 to hit uh, Payek the Vigilant. <laughs> By running away and only attacking when he would just got into Rick. Exactly. And then using haste on ourselves. <laughs> and then charging with haste, yeah. <laughs> In my defense, though, that charge was against a, uh, a, a dude with a bow. So that made sense. <laughs> Good times all around. What was he going to do? Shoot me. Exactly. He had a plus five longbow, man. It's just a shame it was a composite five, not a plus five weapon. Uh, hey, I, I, I'm just glad he managed to walk through all the screaming flames with minimal harm because he had fire resistance 10 by virtue of being a black scale dragon. <laughs> I wonder if he would have forgot about it like I did. <laughs> He's fire resistance? Tragically not. Um, I was- oh, sorry, this is a random off-topic thing. I was really hoping people would fight him in the dark. His name is Payek the Vigilant. He has blind fight and blinded blade style. His entire thing is fighting people in the dark when he can't see. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I thought my whole thing was is that he could already see in the dark. Why would it matter, you know? Basically, he has sent 10 feet even in deeper darkness. 
Wow, that's cool. He's, he had skill-focused perception because he was great at spotting things. And the giveaway to that was the fact that he was a Dracon titled The Vigilant. It never came into play, but it was there, goddammit! <laughs> He was a, he was, just for reference, he was Fighter 5, Expert 3. Just so he could have max ranks oh. in Perception. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. I officially picked up Combat Reflexes. Huzzah! Time to I take five up. AOs against me per turn. Six. Six, my bad. All right, physical dex increase. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, I hope everyone did enjoy themselves this campaign and is open to more adventures in the future as we progress onwards. Whether we wish to can continue with these characters, others, or whatnot. I really do mean that you guys have started what I would like to believe a dream of mine is. And I hope that we can continue this all into the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for this year... Absolutely. I wish you all... Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Wee. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. And with that... <laughs> Happy New Year. I don't have the song at the ready because I still haven't bookmarked it. <laughs> Happy New Year to all and good night for now. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Mm-hmm. <laughs>